Yes, hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Marissa and Carmen and Jay and Vanessa and Lutners and Andraste and Eurospicy. Hello, hello, IT. Hello, Snack Attack. A pleasure. Marie, hello. Misty Dreamer, hello. Tish Savitri, hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on where you are on this beautiful planet. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another ad hoc live stream. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who's come home to roost. Chickens. <laughs> That's who. Hello, everybody. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Happy Wednesday? Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday today. Um, Sorry, been a long day. I'm a little tired. I was up very early for gym and I'm so sore. But <laughs> we have to stream tonight. Also, I feel like I got a lot of sun. Feeling a little crispy. But it, also, I got a new bin for the kitchen. Sorry, it's not about me. We'll talk about the bin later. <laughs> Enter Chantal. Uh, <laughs> today, we're going to be reacting to Miss Booty Beauty, Miss Chantal Marie, Miss Everyday Miriam, Chantopolis, The Chantal Show, Chantal and Pete's Booty Beauty, Big Beautiful Me. Chantal has returned to Canada, everybody. And ooh, I have some theories, some thoughts, some opinions, and I hope you're interested in hearing them. So today we're going to be reacting to Foodie Beauty is Live, which was the first, um, the return of the Queen of Canada, uh, <laughs> um, which was 13 hours ago, give or take. There is then a follow-up stream, which was just a few hours later, which was a St. Hubert's Bees. And yes, chat, you are correct. She drinks gravy. Scar, thank you for being here for 36 mate, months, mate. I appreciate it. Happy three-year anniversary. Scar says, what a happy three-year mark. She's back. Hallelujah. She's back. She's back, 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 back again. Giving you a dose of what had been happening over the last seven to eight days where she confirms the ban. She confirms the YouTube ban. She seems pretty chill with it. Um, she also seems pretty chill and lackadaisical with her religious beliefs, which is interesting. <laughs> but we'll kind of get into it as we get into it. Um, with the follow-up um, button me live stream, which was St. Hubert's Bees, it's 45 minutes. I'm not going to lie. Not much happens past the midway point. So if we don't get through the whole thing, you're really not missing out on much. If you want to watch it alone, I don't recommend it. Everything's better with buddies. Um, but yeah, the the last like 20 minutes of that stream is quite sad. It's, act it's quite sad because it's Chantal basically eating in her car. I see that the Kia kept the car tray. Maybe. Um, we'll talk about that. Um, and it's just, it's just sad. She's just parked up in a desolate plot of land <laughs> and as she's eating like groaning to her chat the sun setting it's very poignant <laughs> very poignant anyway how are you all doing <laughs> are you guys good hey steven good to see you ns thank you for being here for 33 months ns says we'll see how long it lasts incoming new kybella well ns i have so many thoughts and opinions i really wanted to do a poll because i think it would be interesting to um to get a, a good glimpse a gay glimpse apparently a glimpse um of what people's thoughts are because we know we know that this happened at the end of last year slash start of this year right we know that this happened and we know that Chantal, we know that poop gate happened about three months ago four months ago um and three months ago <laughs> and what happens if poop gate happens all over again like, is Chantal just going to pack up and leave? The way that she's talking about being back in Canada makes it sound like she's not. But some of you might think that it's a it's a visa, a visa bees. Visa bees. <laughs> um, it could be anything, but I'd love to know everybody's thoughts. Uh, let's see, who have we got here? Cor, a pleasure to see you today, mate. I hope your beard's doing well. Thank you for being here for 32 months and the rest of you. Uh, Cor says, happy Wednesday, buddies. Happy Wednesday, mate. It's lovely to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Voodoo, thank you so much for gifting five channel memberships. I appreciate it. And Oceana for gifting five channel memberships as well. I'm going to do a two for one. Thank you guys for being wonderful. And that's not at all required, but very much appreciated. Thank you for your generosity. Welcome or welcome back to Pulpster Tish. Uh, sea Puff, Stiper, Hello, Tara. Actually a bear. Ah, oh, a bear. Uh, Mountain Dewey. <laughs> Monkey, Bunny31, Carmen, Haley, and I think that's everyone. Please make sure you thank the lovely Oceana. Anna and Voodoo, if you have received a gift. And DX, a pleasure as always. Hello. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't doom scrolling enough on Twitter today. I'm not sure if you did a recap or not. I have no doubt that you did that. DX says, oh, thanks. No, no name. Oh my God. No, don't do it. 
It took me a minute to recognize what was gonna, what was being said there. <sighs> There's a lot of that in that first live stream. Hey, she gets real. She gets giddy, giddified. She gets giddy. Um, she gets pretty giddy about uh, everybody's ass pattery. So, oh, hope that's not a bad word. I uh, do hickey. Thank you as well for your gifted membership. Welcome or welcome back to Young Blood Sweet Bee. Yes. Um, Ophelia, hello, Katie, and just me. Hello, everybody. Please make sure you thank the lovely and generous Doohickey for the gift. Thanks, Doohickey. Hope you're well. Okay, so. Oh, my God. One says, I have fun news. The BF is going to be in the musical Something Rotten. <gasps> Icon. <laughs> I'm going to stop getting distracted. Let's get into the live stream. We're going to speed it up. I was originally listening to this at one point. 7.5, and that was pretty normal, so I think we're safe to go in at 1.5. Also, hi, my name's Zach, lovely to meet you if you're new, and thank you very much for returning. If you are coming back, I am not a mental or physical healthcare professional, just guy who loves to make talks about things on the internet and watches way too much of too many people. I'm also not here to bully, sham, hair dress, or humiliate, just here to talk about the produced and monetized content that we see here on this platform, because it's all about what choices, choices about what we say, choices about what we put on the internet, choices. Also, I am wearing a, a Canadian queen and icon herself, Miss Melinda Verga. I do love this t-shirt. It's great. And very poignant because we're talking about Canada, which is great. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm so stuck. Okay, let's go. Me, me, shall you? Also, she had potato quality for connection. Also, also, what's happening with the car payments? We know that the Kia wasn't paid off. We know that she had to go to court in the, at the start of the year to outline the bankruptcy stuff. Like, what's happening with all of that? The finances are a conundrum. Hello, Miriam. Yeah. SUP! Am I on live chat? No. Laura! Blumpy! I am now! Hello. Where is everyone? <laughs> I guess people forgot about me. Alright, we're at we're at 720p. We've returned to pixels. Very <laughs> uh -oh. good. I might have to move. I don't know if this is private property or not. I'm kind of confused. Like, um... <laughs> Steven! <laughs> okay, so I'm in this little driveway, and then there's a fence that says no trespassing. So does that mean no trespassing before the fence or after? Hi! Oh my gosh, it's too fast. Hi, everyone. I'm kind of nervous and overwhelmed, so... And I have to let a little chin free. I can't. I feel claustrophobic. This is the beginning. This is the beginning, I think, of potentially a new headpiece. <sighs> Calling it now. Hi! I don't even know where to start. Like, I'm gone seven days. and my Thoughts on the glasses? I don't hate the glasses. Um, It's nice that she filled a prescription because her other one was 13 years old. Uh, she talks about the timeline with the prescription as well. I, I didn't realise that she'd seen an optometrist the last time she was in Canada. Um, I, I do vaguely recall that, but such a, my, my brain is full of Chantal memories. That was not one of them. Or eight days or however many days. And my life has like changed so much that I don't even know where to start. I have so many stories I wanted to tell you guys. I'm like, when something happens in my life, I'm like, I have to tell them this. Like being away made me realize like you- I think most people just wanted to know why you're back in Canada. <laughs> you guys are my support system. I, look, I'm team Canada, to be fair. I think she seemed miserable and- bored in Kuwait and at least here she can you know <laughs> do stuff <laughs> hi everybody <laughs> when it comes to lamb hello everybody I need to let a little bit of my chin out well yeah I'm in the Kia no so I'll let me take the it doesn't it is the Kia <gasps> Jimmy Bunker thank you so much I was really lovely to see you by the way I hope your bid's doing well and you um I was so self-conscious before I got on the stream I have like Here's a, here's, a, here's a trick that beardologists don't want you to know. Um, I have, like, a really fine, like, a re like you know how beard combs have the fine end and the really chunky end? E get an even finer one. Get an even, like, a really, really thin comb um, that's used for hair, not for beards, but it's great for beards because I get a lot of flyaways in my beard. My beard is very, it can be a bit scraggly. But really, really fine comb and, you know, beard oil helps as well. And take your multivites. Yeah. And drink plenty of water. But lovely to see you. Hello. Like, no, it's not late. Hi. Hi, everybody. I missed so many people to say hi, so I'm just going to say a collective hi. I am literally jet lagged. I know people laugh and use that as like a euphemism for being high. No. I'm not here to gatekeep a good beard. You know, I want everyone to have a good beard. Even people who can't have a good beard. They should, they deserve good beards. Holy crap, that's creepy. I'm just like literally so tired and my body is so battered. From this trip, I am going nuts. <sighs> yeah, have new glasses. So, you know, I did the prescription, right? Like, I went to the eye doctor last time I was in Canada. It's so strange that she thinks we're going to remember facts like that, but sure. But then, <laughs> I left without getting glasses. They're super expensive here. So before I left, 
So I was like, give me your prescription for your glasses. I'm going to go and get you glasses. And I was like, no, we don't need Thanks, everybody. <laughs> How does optometry work in Canada? Because it's, is it all kind of umbrella socialized healthcare? How does that work? Birthday wishes and everything. Welcome. I'm like, because Australia has a really quite a strange system. Well, not strange, I, I guess. But we have thing, we have things where we basically pay. <laughs> I'm not going to try to explain this. I'm going to sound so stupid. Just shut up, Zach. More's the question. How does the Canadian one work with optometry? <laughs> Shell, thank you for being here for three months. Shell says, "Do you like her dress?" I. That's a big question. <laughs> Um, self-pay for eyes and dentists unless you buy private. Okay, that makes sense. So, uh, I guess slightly similar to here in Australia, depending. See, here in Australia, once you've, once you're over 31, um, if you don't have health insurance, they actually hold, like, withhold more tax from you. <laughs> Which is wild when you think about it. I mean, like, even, even in the last five years or four years or whatever it's been, I don't think I've actively used my health insurance, but I've had to pay for it every month um, because just in case something happens, like that's the that's the whole idea, obviously, is that as you get older, you're more likely to need health care um, and you should have some insurance to cover it. We do obviously also have things like Medicare, um, which do cover some elements or, or pay like part. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's good to know about the Canada thing. We, you know, we don't, that's not a priority. <laughs> and even though I'm driving, yeah, I, it's much better, right? I'm like, why haven't I gotten these sooner? So he went and got glasses for me before I headed out. And I'm glad he did. Oh, back to the dress. I am I love the colour. I don't know how I feel about the print. I don't know. Like, we're going into winter. No, wait. We're going into winter. They're going into summer. Yeah, I don't love the print. They're still pricey over there, though. Oh, that's right. Her eye exam was covered because she was diabetic, Marissa. You're right. But I wonder, that probably doesn't mean the lenses are, though. Hi, guys! I just... Lily preaching to the choir. <laughs> so this, the Kia's all set. It got, has new brakes. has, like, $2,000 worth of work on this baby. I feel like I'm in a new car. I love this Kia. Did In $2,000, did the hydraulics also get adjusted? Because we know that that was an issue. Also, did you get a new front bumper? Probably. For 2K, probably. Let's never fight. Anyways. All right, so... That's true, Voodoo. I just wish... I just wish all of these dresses and all of these clothes that have these fugly, like, floral prints, I just wish they could come in solid colours, you know? Because I know there's a material out there that you could do this with. You don't have to worry about matching up the pattern, although you can get away with smaller prints, obviously, because pattern matching matters less because you don't see it. I don't know about the, like, the rouging or whatever's going on up here at the top and then just kind of, like, falling away. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Just put it in a solid colour. Hi! <laughs> Let your accessories talk, you know? I saw you guys. Sorry, I missed, like, all everybody. Hey, Mary and Hexy. Hey, how you doing? Brittany, everyone I missed, all the beezers. Did I miss everyone who... Also, please let me know if she's too loud. Was in. Sorry. Hello, I missed you guys. <laughs> um, thank you. Happy belated. Um, no name! Happy belated. <laughs> thank you, no name! <laughs> the top looks like crepe paper. <laughs> thank you! We're jumping right in there. Lottie has a note. It's not double hooded Fifty Shades of Animal print, so it's got that going for it. Honestly, wouldn't be wouldn't have been mad if this were were animal print. Probably would have been mad if it was that earthworm fabric she had on that hoodie. But this in leopard print, work. Thanks. I look cute. No, I don't feel it. Hi. Okay. Um, I have so much to talk about. I, I was bees. Actually, I know. Okay. Okay. So, am I in a private spot? All right. You were so worried. Well, let me tell you what happened. She's going to explain all of this. And now watching this a second time around, I am noticing she does seem a little... She's e energized, and we've got this at 1.5 times speed, so take that all with a grain of salt. But her eyes seem quite heavy. Maybe it's the glasses. Maybe she's just, like, adjusting. So, thank you, guys. Everybody, who did I miss? I missed a lot of... I think I missed some beezers here. It's like everything's, like, half hooded, you know? So oh my god, Milk Tea, hi. Happy day, she's back. Hi. Lovely to see you. I hope you're having a good day. Hi. Thanks, guys. For, uh, she's fun. energized. She's got that Urban Mate. Fast Joey, um, <laughs> ghost face. Uh, I get nervous. Like, is this your property? Oh, uh, Milk, um, there's not much in the second one. She eats uh, St. Hubert's, drinks gravy. The sun sets as she's 
bemoaning her life choices. Not in like a fun way, just in a, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I've done. Blah, blah, blah. Um, sun sets, no lights, spends 20 minutes fucking with the car light. It's not very good. People driving by. Anyway, they come and say, you know, yeah, this is a new dress. Like the minute I decided to come back to Canada, I was like, I'm going on Pennington's.com. All right, let's get some clothes because like I need Canada clothes, you know? Is it weird that she did online shopping when she got to Canada? Also, if you bought this online, how many days does Pennington's take to deliver? I'm assuming it's not like Amazon where it's next day delivery. So if she bought this on Pennington's.com, unless she went to go and pick it up, but it's Chantal, that probably didn't happen. Or is this one of the clothes that she bought in December when she was over here? And she had to get like returned or went to mum's house or whatever it was. Mm, the timeline, the timeline. So this is like a dress, but it's so cool. It's gonna be nice and cool. Cassidy, happy belated birthday, Mr. Your Lives. Thank you so much, Cassidy. That's so sweet of you. Heather, golden girl. Oh, it might be the stuff. Yeah, it might be the stuff from last time, but the way she's talking about it sounds as if she's purchased it recently. But if she's purchased it online, she didn't get it, like, next day. Thank you. Comic Brook, Flowers, Bonnie. Hi, Comic Brook. Boo boo. Yeah. Maybe she bought it on the plane. I'm going to show you guys all the new clothes, you know it. I'm going to wear them obsessively. For... Anyways, okay. So, I got a strike on my channel. And, uh... At first I was like, what the F? You know, I was like pissed off. I was like, I have a strike on my... Rosemary! Hi, Marbles! Kay this is a point. This isn't the first time. Kayla! <laughs> Not the first time it's happened to Chantel. Trixie! Loyalty Beezer, thank you! Ready, start, read these! <laughs> okay, sorry, I have to concentrate. Sorry. Hi, Carolina, never have I ever... Paul Freed, everybody, normally Mimi, Shelly, I know. Okay, listen. No name, hi! So basically, um... And I was like, what? What? <laughs> you know? But then, like, I saw, like, the post that I made. Like, I deleted it, but it's about the po It was for the post that, thanks, mistress, Georgia girl, that I made about that Kalani lady, so. Look, we all know why you got struck. We know. At first, I was mad, and I'm like, I'm like, you know what? It doesn't matter, like, because I was responding to you. I was triggered, as usual, but that's my problem to be triggered. But anyway, I was triggered because I saw parts of a video on your mama's live stream about her, and she... Oh, she's getting that pinky up early. Look at that. Look at that. What a... What a freeze. That should have been the thumbnail. <laughs> that's that's Chantal's true, true feelings, just bubbling in, <laughs> bubbling out into the surface. <laughs> uh, I'm a bit loud. Sorry, I'm gonna turn that down. <laughs> it was like, you know, calling me a heifer and that my husband wouldn't touch me. So I, you know, said some nasty things back. So, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I got caught for it. I think it's weird that you know that YouTube doesn't you know, keep the same energy for some other channels that swear and all that. But what I, I don't think she understands how, like, the reporting system works. For someone who's been on YouTube, like, what, six, seven years? She doesn't understand. Re when she was showing us, when she was having that fight with your mama about, like, oh, you want proof about, like, the people that I report? Here it is. And instantly everybody was like, wait, you're reporting the thumbnail. Like, you're not actually reporting the video. <laughs> you're reporting the thumbnail. That's not how that works. <laughs> that was really nasty. So, you know what? I'm like, fine. I, what I did was wrong. I'll take the hit. I'll take the L. And you know what? I think it's a sign from God or from whatever, the universe, whatever you want to believe. What do you believe? <laughs> I need that break. Like, this break has been amazing for me. And I know that... Again, chat, you know my perspective on this. I think that people's beliefs are their own. Practice what you want to practice. Whatever. Believe what you want to believe. Um, but Chantal says a lot of things in this live stream that effectively fly in the face of what we've been lectured on for the last year, year and a half. I just want to make that known. Just, we'll catch them, catch them as they go, but anyway. It's going to annoy you, and it's going to make Morning, SM. people mad, but it was so amazing. That's so true, yeah, I just want to sit and chat here for a while. She does. <sighs> you thought I fell into the drain. So anyways, basically, the, the, the break was awesome, you know? So... <laughs> so good, you guys. Yeah, I was like, yeah, you know what, I was nasty. Like, doesn't matter if I'm being nasty back, whatever. I'm like, I'm, the, my point... To be fair, she didn't access the couple's channel or the Twitch. So whether or not that's because she actually came into Canada, like, five days before this, six days before this, or and whether or not it was just a happy accident she got the strike, and maybe she was planning to come to come back to Canada regardless of that. Like, maybe that was coincidental. Um... Yeah, I don't know whether or not it was Chantel's choice. <laughs> is like I need to just ignore these people and really just bees. Focus on beesing. Focus on. And I missed you guys so much. Like you guys are my support system. I realize that in a lot of ways. Like I have to just. Ew, parasocial. Ew. 
just try to make it in a healthy in a healthy way. Like um, so yeah, I have to shut out honest girl. I'm gonna be as kind about this as possible. I don't think your relationship with the people in your chat is healthy. To be positive because you know what youtube is a popularity <laughs> contest a lot of people don't like me so any little way they can obviously they're going to report me right especially if i do something that um goes against terms of service and if i get caught that's like is it worth risking my entire channel for going after every little like people who are saying like that i'm a pig you know like no i needed to check my behavior it's like ruined well no but you've learned this lesson before i feel this is not a shock and my mental health everything so basically this this break was amazing and i made a big deb you think her visa was denied fair very big decision to um move back to, to Canada and honestly if I had my way and I was rich I would probably bounce back and forth all the time no you know you know what I wouldn't this journey <laughs> let me tell you this one of the stories okay gurney excuse me I want to tell you one of the stories of the horrors of being on the plane this time all right so normally sorry I'm just getting this out and I'll talk to you guys and save your questions if you want to but also just I I'm pretty sure oh gosh I am so red I saw so much sun this morning wear your sunscreen everyone um what was I gonna say Oh, I don't think there's one single mention of the sciatica in any of this, either. So maybe, maybe the, maybe the concern for diabetic, diabetic rather, um, neuropathy was just a red herring. I normally fly with Qatar Airways or Emirates. I, I know I'm like, I only fly with Qatar. No, but there's a reason. All right. This time I decided, you know what? Hey, if I go with Qatar or Emirates, I'm on the plane for 13 hours straight. Because the transfer is only an hour of flight in Qatar. Kuwait to Qatar, then 13 hours, Canada, Montreal. But if I try a different route, where Lufthansa, which is a German airline, I booked, I, I, so I, I went from Kuwait to Frankfurt on Lufthansa. Australian sun does hurt. It just, ooh, it's so crispy. Then I had an almost three hour layover in Frankfurt. And then I had to, hi guys, <laughs> um, not flare, <laughs> Air Canada. But they were both Airbus A330s, which, you know, they're not the Boeing Max. <laughs> I was just happy about that. So then, um, Basically, I thought, okay, I'm gonna break it in half. It's not as bad. My body won't be as bad. Or, oh, I didn't like Lufthansa. Oh my gosh. Why didn't she like take a night somewhere? Wouldn't that be the smartest thing if you were concerned about? I, the concern about sciatica is is unbelievable with Chantel, regardless. But wouldn't like if you were actually concerned about that? A three hour layover is great. Like get up, stretch your legs, do whatever. But like if you were actually wanting to split up your trip, wouldn't you just take a night or a day or something? It's not terrible, okay? But, like, I found... How do you pronounce it, Adam? Sorry, is it Luft... Lufthansa? How is she pronouncing it? <laughs> the staff was not that friendly. They were more snappy. Oh my god, Brandon, hi. We are back. Um, <laughs> the food was... Okay, here's the food, okay? So, on the first flight... Oh, of course. Fucking, of course the first thing to complain about is the food. They gave... Oh my goodness, Annie with an L. Hello, good morning, lovely. I hope you have a big cup of tea. I have... Oh, sorry, coffee. I have tea today for me. Um, thank you for the super chat, lovely. Annie says, it's not a red herring. She takes pain pills halfway through this. Oh, oh, she does too. And debates how many she can take. She's on Canada pain pills, hence the heavy eyes. Right. She does too. Sorry, yes, thank you for reminding me. She said something akin to... Like, oh, I can have one more because it's me. I'm Foodie Beauty or something like that. And <laughs> my brain instantly went to not a queen of moderation. <laughs> not a queen of moderating anything, including, it seems, painkillers. That's dangerous. Anyway, thank you for the super chat, Annie. They give you a sandwich. It's like this long. Okay. Nikki, move back permanently. Solo, solo following you. Okay. Hi, Lily. I'll tell you guys in just one second, okay? And then I'll check the comments. I have to get this out. <laughs> so, yeah, guitar is super nice. Um, Basically... Um, what was I going to say? They give you a sandwich and it's their vegetarian sandwich. Do you all remember when she flew out of Kuwait that first time, time and lost her ring? Sorry, I'm just making, I'm just noticing it. She's making it very apparent. Um, God, what a wild line. A vegetarian sandwich. And so I'm like, okay, like literally that's how the attendant talked. A vegetarian sandwich. So I took it and... Are you mocking people's accent again? Because it kind of seems like it. Rude. Um, it had cream cheese, okay? The cream cheese, I don't know, mess with my gut. So that's digesting. Okay, chat. <laughs> We're about to hear a story about cream cheese making Chantal essentially super gassy. I would like us all to take a moment and just reflect back on the last 12 months and remember just how much cream cheese Chantal has eaten. Pretty much every meal had some form of cream cheese. That's 
this is either a lie. I don't believe it's a lie. She doesn't have a gallbladder. I think that, I think that she probably shits her guts out on the daily. Yeah. Anyway, that's fun. That's a fun thought. By the time I get to the second leg of my, you know, Air Canada. Creamy shots. Wow. Thank you, Lapa, for that. I'm like, please don't let anyone sit beside me. Please don't let anyone sit beside me. And, uh, and I, like, I was literally praying, like, please don't let anyone sit beside me, Allah, please. Well, when did they give you the sandwich in this timeline? Oh, this guy comes bouncing down. Don't you usually sit down before you get the sandwich? The, 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 the walkway sits right beside me. And he's listening to super loud music, like dance hall music. I don't know if you know what dance hall is. I'm sure someone is. Anyway, he sits down. And She's fucking all over the place with this story. Okay, whatever. I slept most of the flight. He ordered wine. You get like complimentary little bottles of wine on Air Canada. He ordered wine and he spilled red wine on my clothes twice. Oh, we're up to the second flight now, right? So I smelled like a bottle of booze. I have to let up some gin, sorry. Okay, so. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. See, and this is what I meant. She's getting more and more comfortable. Well, I think, personally, I think the hijab might. Might be on the outs. There is another point in this live stream, just in case I don't catch it, where she says she wants to find a new style, a new... Uh, she wants to try a new... Or develop... I don't know. Um, a new Western style for her, her job. And I started... That that one phrase, very similar to the Unicity, like, MLM shit that I picked up, <laughs> instantly my brain was like, she's getting rid of it. Like she, like it's gonna, it's gonna come off in like seven days. It's, it's, it's coming off. She's gonna start wearing those silly hats again. I can guarantee it. By the way, you guys don't have to delete messages. Just let people talk, but only like really hateful, racist stuff. You know what I mean? Okay, so um, I'll get to. I have a lot to talk about, so I need to get it out. What was I gonna say? And again, that does like it doesn't matter. Personal, personal beliefs, choices, whatever. Do you, do you, boo boo. Um, I, I do just have to stifle a bit of a laugh over the fact that for the last, again, 18 months, we've essentially been lectured by Modest Miriam on so many things. So many things. We're all terrible people because of reasons. My, thank you very much for the super chat, lovely. I hope you're having a great day. My says, loophole divorce arc, pretty please. You, part of me thinks that Chantal's just never going to acknowledge Poopy again. <laughs> Part of me thinks in a couple of weeks' time, she'll have a brand new audience and be like, I've never been married. What are you even talking about? <laughs> Gonna be a big gaslight situation type of deal. So I'm not even really looking at the comments right now, so they can just go talk with you. I don't care. All right, so um, that's when the sandwich starts hurting my stomach. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's gurgling. For some reason, the cream cheese or something in that sandwich gave me the ultimate gas. It was the, probably the worst gas attack I ever had in my life. And we're like, the, the captain was like, okay, we have 20 minutes left to landing. Because, you know, landing is a whole process. They've got to go down, 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 down. So... The plane, yes. the pla To land, the plane often goes down, down, down. Well said. Windmill! <laughs> There's like a gaggle of geese having an orgy in the background and I'm freaking out! Listen. Oh my goodness! That's a bug. Hold on. Please hold. How are there so many bugs? Chat, I, I kept the incense. I'm so sorry, bug. Why did you come in here? Why? Why, why? Don't mind the sound. If it sounds heavy, it's because it is. It's fine. Everything's fine. Now I can't see it. Oh god, it's gonna crawl in my eye. How has this happened two streams in a row? It's because of the light. That's what it is. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's just disappeared and it's gonna crawl on my feet. Mick! Feet! <laughs> okay, has it gone? I hope it's gone. Gobby, have you seen it? Is it down there with you? I'm gonna close close up. I'm gonna close up shop now. I'm not the stream. I'm just gonna do that because it's um it's bug season. It's fine. I think I got it. And if I didn't, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't high five it. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, he's freaking out. Oh, hold on. Sorry, sorry, chat. I know you're all here for a different kind of stream, but. Instead, you get to see me panic. Well, not panic, but like everything's fine. I just, yeah, I saw it and now it's gone. Where did you go? Oh, bug! <laughs> oh, bug, come back. I have a gift for you. It's a, um. 
lights and ever depleting little incense. Where did you go? <laughs> okay. Well, I I think it's done. <laughs> I think it's done. I just hope it doesn't crawl across my feet because I know it's going to. I know the lovely incense are going to seep into its body and brain and then the neurons are going to all fire and it's going to freak out and run across my feet. I can tell. Anyway. Yep. Sorry, back to Chantal. <laughs> Anyways. And I'm like, okay, I can hold it because I'm not about to go. Two streams in a row though. Do you think that bug was coming for revenge? I think it was. Because you know when you're landing, they say, okay, the, lock, the, the bathrooms are going to be locked. So, I couldn't go. I had to go. Like, I had to go. Number two. I had to go. You know what I mean? And I, and I have no gallbladder. So, I'm like, well, wait for landing. So, we land. And then you know how you have to wait to deplane? Okay. Chantal's a red wing. I'm shook. Chantal, anything bad. Welcome home. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay, let me get this out. Sam broke up his life. We went, Chantal. Haha. <laughs> we told you so. You told me what? I don't even get what is that? Oh, that's a hate comment. Oh, that's okay. You don't have to delete that. I don't care what they say. Okay, listen. <laughs> it takes forever to deplane. The, everyone's just standing there, like waiting for them to, to open the door. Sorry, I'm get. I'm just getting back into the story, while also laughing at <laughs> Lottie setting the scene. And yeah, I I run a bug like spa massage parlor and and therapy space. That's what like, I yes, do. Yes, I'm gonna get to go. I'm like clenching hard. I need to go. Then we're all standing up. I give them high fives and cologne testers. And I'm like, yes, I'm going to get to go. I'm like clenching hard. I need to go. Then we're all standing up. I go, go, grab my luggage from the overhead bin. And the guy's like, okay, everyone sit back down because immigration is coming on board. And I was like, what? No, no they're going to like investigate people. Why do you have to hold up the whole plane to investigate one person trying to get into Canada? You know? And like, I'm like, oh no, I can't make it. I'm so sick from the sandwich. And like, is oh my to gosh. deplane a real verb? I think so. Well, disembark, right? Deplane, disembark. One person trying to get into Canada, you know? And like, I'm like, oh no, I can't make it. I'm so sick from this sandwich. And like, oh my gosh, I couldn't hold it. I was like, I <laughs> Yes, the bug perfumery. Couldn't hold, like, I'm like, I can't. Anyway, somehow miraculously I did. They would check our passports. Like they checked everyone's passports. So that's the story on that. So now being in Canada. Oh, Inga, hello, welcome. She's back in Canada. Hi everybody, nice to see you. Sorry, I didn't look at the comments really. Um, I'm moving here. Um, I can't stand the summer in Kuwait. Elena, thank you very much for the super chat. Shat herself confirmed. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so now being in Canada... It's the creamy shots. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you. Sorry I didn't look at the comments, really. Um, <laughs> I'm moving here. Um, also, for some it. reason, it has decided to be hot again in Brisbane. It was like 30 degrees to get today. And the summer in... Cool. And there was, well, barely a breeze because if I... If... All right. Everyone keep an eye out for bugs. Wait. It's... Bad for my health. Um, I need free healthcare because even no matter what my visa status would be there, I don't want to talk about that, but it would be expensive. So just think of make whatever you and baby. Hello, lovely to see you. If you wanted that, if you want very warm in Brisbane today, Noah. Yeah, I think that I have this visa, that visa doesn't matter. It's okay, fine, whatever. But it is expensive. <laughs> just say that, okay? So, um, I'm not divorced. I'm Are you sure? Loophole divorce, it is expensive. <laughs> just say that, okay? So, um, I'm not divorced. I'm still with Salah. What are our thoughts on... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I would like to get a little bit of a gauge of the audience's thoughts on the ticket. Because she would have received her YouTube paycheck like a week or two ago. Right? So do you think as soon as payday came around, she was like, ticket purchase buy? Or maybe, maybe, maybe family helped her out. Who knows? I'm taking things day by day and letting, leaving, honestly, this, I know you're going to think it's cringe, but I'm leaving it up to God. Like, I'm just going to control what I can control in my life and not worry so much. So like. Sure. Do like, you mean not do anything? Honestly, when I'm dead, the anxiety, what I'm worried about won't matter. You know, I'll be like, <laughs> honestly, when you, I don't know. You I, should actively like work to work against death, I guess is the best way. Is that the best way to say it? Just, I have to worry about myself. Nikki P. Browning, are you going to move on with peace? I hope you have help. Thank you. I'm not sure what I'm doing at all. Like, I am definitely getting an apart. Like, I, I need well, to... totes. She ate cream cheese on a German airline and apparently had a shot attack. So <laughs> it's like art attack, but but different. <laughs> get my own setup here. So I need to set up everything, which means I have to like get everything from scratch. Like, I'm not rich. Like, I we are okay. Like, we do fine. Like, we were able to like you know everything. Fix the car. Um, get me here, which was like crazy. 
Um, it was a cheaper though on those two flights, but I I'm never gonna compromise. Just, I can't. It's too. Air Canada is really good though. Air Canada. The only thing is they don't have personalized vents. I was almost dying. Um. Dying from not having a personalized vent. That's wild. I'm also getting Sam back. Get a little fan. <laughs> like what? Boo, boo. This is the part in the live stream where um, she's going to lose a lot of people. Like, I'm getting Sam back when I get my place. The foster lady. Um, she's like, after all, she had a cat before Sam, an older cat, and he doesn't really like Sam. I thought they were getting along, but no. Are you worried about Salabi? Thank you, Jessica. You know what? No, I'm not worried about, I'm not going to worry about that. Like, yeah, Hammy, she's, she's, she said it. She's going to try to get Sam back. I have my trust. Well, she said it definitively. Renew trust. I said, I, you think it's a lie? I would do it. Like trust. Like, and you know, like, I'm just going to live life. Like whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm not going to stress about that. I'm not going to, there's nothing I can do. I don't have a, I'm not a fly on the wall over there. I can't live my life distrusting somebody, you know, like I can't waste that energy. I, this confuses me because I would say that Poopy's probably going to be on the prowl. Ew. Poopy on the prowl. Um, I think that Poopy's probably going to be on the prowl because he's done it before, literally just months ago, so he'll probably do it again. Um, I'm quite cynical. I think the... I'm quite cynical. I think the reason why Chantel went back to Kuwait during the Kybella stuff was because it was so public. And, like, what if you find someone who's not related to, like, this tiny little niche of the internet like she has no con she has no control and i don't i i get the sense i almost get the sense that she's not interested like she's the act is done <laughs> she's she's done with it she's like because it was never really real it never really seemed real so now the act is done and poopy will slowly be phased out of conversation whatsoever until the point in which she's challenged and and has to retort with but where's your man um if i ever learn of something that's different i'll deal with it but i'm not gonna no i'm gonna focus on myself um yeah i just there's a lot of things i, I miss like that i didn't think i would ever miss when i first moved to kuwait and when i got here i was like very patriotic i was like canada but a lot of people on the plane were looking out and they were like you could tell they missed canada like you get homesick but i also now i miss kuwait a lot too because when you're you ingrain yourself in a culture for Chantel was not ingrained in Kuwait. Chantel was ingrained in her creamy condo. For a year and a half or however long I was there, it's like, you know. And Poopy's ready to show off his triple gold medal black belt nunchucking skills while teabagging Jesus with a whole new lady. Lucky her. My, I miss what a catch. Julia and Harry so bad. Like, that's like, no matter which country I'm in, I have heartbreak because I miss my cats here. And then I miss Julia, like her little face and her fishy breath. Ooh. Connie, I 100% agree. Connie said this is not how she acts when she's attached. We've all seen what that looks and sounds like. I agree. I 100% agree. But, so long. I think Chantel has just resigned herself to the fact that no one was buying the poopy storyline. Only went back to Kuwait in a desperate and, like, impulsive response to try to save face against the internet. Because, again, like, if, if Kybella hadn't had outed all of the poopiness... Um, I don't think she would have gone back to Kuwait. I think that she was meant to stay in Canada, the way she was saying it, in January. But I think that's because the relationship never actually was fulfilling Chantal in the way that she wanted, and she was fucking miserable over there. That is a good cat dad. I don't want to leave him. Like, he genuinely, genuinely looks sad at the thought of leaving Julia. Hi, Squeaky. Yeah, Sarah Jean. Hi, Brittany, Ghostface. Inshallah, he can come here, yeah. And for the next, like few months probably she'll she'll dip back and forth between i miss kuwait so much i miss my husband i miss julia and howie and then she'll just stop talking about them and it will be as if a fever dream no i'm not here to renew my visa he hated animals that move he used to half light he used to he was not an animal person he was not raised with pets i don't think her visa got denied because she would be raging at some government about it the way <laughs> The way that she got pissy at Justin Trudeau and demanded a refund on her <laughs> on her passport because they couldn't leave for two years or whatever it was. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think she got denied a visa. I think she would be quite upsetty spaghetti if that had happened. She would say the the arrogance, the um no, arrogance? 
the goal. <laughs> care less about them before. He didn't hate them. Like, you know, he wouldn't hurt anything, but he fell in love with Julia. In love. Like, there's nothing about about 15 times a day. I, I, I'm like, are you harassing the cat again? Because he grabs her and holds her and just kisses her for like five That minutes. is funny because I'm pretty sure she did get a, ref a partial refund on her passport without paying taxes. Good for her. Minutes straight. And she doesn't persist, but she, you know how cats look whenever you hold them? They're like, do you hear the geese? Shh, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, she'll lose the ring. It'll disappear. She'll keep leaving it off. <sighs> Dispensary time for wheelchair bees. I can't wait yet. Because in short, I think Poopy's just been paid out. Like, it's done now. Like, it's done. He got uh, he got the creamy condo. He got a, an alleged new car. Like, he's set. <laughs> um, yes, of course I miss him. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. No, Ramadan's not over. I didn't have to fast while I was traveling. Um... Oh. <laughs> and he now it starts. <laughs> And yeah, I don't know. I haven't really been doing that right now. Um, right, Chantel's not practicing Ramadan, but it's okay, you guys. She's exempt because of healthcare. But yeah, what do you have questions about? Hey, creepy comfort and crime! Thank you! Even though for the last however many weeks she's been fighting with the chat and arguing that, yes, of course she's been doing it. What do you mean? How dare you make assumptions about Chantel? Oh yeah, I can like the comments. Welcome back, you've been missed. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you guys missed me. Nicolina! I did. I let it go on the plane so bad I couldn't hold it. It was like the, like a machine gun with, mixed with a tuba. <laughs> Shot attack. I'm religious. I don't care. Here's the thing. There's religion and there's culture. Okay. I'm Canadian, like blood wise, and we believe in the medicinal power of marijuana. So that's something I'm going to consider because um. At a shock to no one. You know, I know it would be frowned upon by most Muslim people, but for me, it's like, I don't know. It's like medicine for me. I feel like having like a night when I get home, like whenever, you know, you, you do your whole day, be productive. And then later at night for a treat, like to relax, it's like medicine. Look, it helps with like, you know, the CBD and that can help with pain. I can't take too many more NSAIDs. Like my stomach is going to have a hole like this big inside it, you know, so. Maybe you need to actually see a, a doctor about the pain. Because at the moment, it's just been a long storyline of painkillers and CBD management, which is not really management when we consider the hundreds and thousands of mill milligrams of THC she's consumed previously. I don't trust it. Oceana, thank you for the super chat, lovely. Oceana says, I say she ends the cosplay within the month. I I think she will come online and she'll sh say she's changed her mind, her relationship with <clears throat> God, Allah, the universe, whatever, um, is different. How dare you judge me on my religious beliefs and all of that stuff. That's what I'm pretty much expecting. And again, believe what you want to believe. Like, I'm not here to tell anybody that their faith is wrong or right. But, you know, with organized religions, there's kind of guidelines that you're supposed to adhere to. And Chantal's just doing it her way. But I feel like she's been doing it her way for a while. And then also being very judgmental against the atheists in the crowd. Anyway. Oh my god, Sam. Good to see you. Hi. Happy, happy Wednesday. I hope you're well. But I'm still Muslim. I still believe in, in God. And, like, how can I, you know... How can I just automatically... <laughs> uh, you know what? You can stop believing. People switch all the time. People go through struggle. You know, I think religion yeah. is something very personal, you know? It is. It's just very convenient that you can so easily turn it on and off. The the which parts of the organized religion that you choose to believe in, which is just... It's wild. It's wild. It's wild. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, Brianna! Like, wild. You were okay. Was worried your mouth got you in trouble. Be safe and not talk to personal business online or speak ill of others. You're right. Thank you. Thanks for the super chat, Nikki B. Oh, really, Sam? Yay. Be knowing. We like honesty. Let's hate when you're being real. Thank you. I hope you celebrate. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, I know you guys are all- Bloody has a good night. I believe that if you're going to use substances for medicinal purposes, you should do so under the supervision of a medical practitioner. That's just my belief. It's a good, it's a good belief. It's a good belief. Happy because like, this is the land of the bees. For the land of the bees. Oh no, that's the American. The geese is getting on my nerves. Anyways, I was thinking as a celebration, let's go eat somewhere. But I'm going to come back live when I get there, because <laughs> you know the rules. Yeah, Chantel's got to eat on camera. Rosemary! Get those views. I look happier. But what you said was true. What did I say? Hi, Rebe! Hi, everybody! What did I miss? Rebe, because of chronic pain. Yeah, that's up to me. It's like medicine, you know? Sushi! Jessica, your, your, your channel's been blowing up, huh? Yeah, thanks, Golden Girl. Lolo, everybody, crab legs. Cheryl, Carol Charms. Our home and beezing land. What did you say? Oh, Canada. Our home and beezing land. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
Our home and bees in <laughs> What did you say? Oh, Canada, our home and bees in True home of the bees. I'm not gonna get in King Beezer back. And I'll never leave him again. Pretty soon he'll be. It's been so long. Strumming on a new counter. I can go back to Kuwait, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, no name. Cham. <laughs> Kuwait, look, I love Kuwait. And I do miss Salah like a lot. It's so hard being in a long distance marriage and for who who knows how long. But this is like a sacrifice I have to make. And it'll be a true test of our relationship too, because you know, like that long of distance, no. We'll see. Chat, I I don't say this cruelly, but do you think that this relationship is gonna Do you think that do you think they're gonna make it? <laughs> do you think they're gonna Do you think they're gonna last? <laughs> See, you know, and I, I'm here to like also, I have to work on myself, but I need a plan. Three months ago, when Chantel decided to come back to Canada to take her health seriously, an internet audience member reached out to Poopy, and um, we know how that turned out. So, she's putting a lot of trust in a man that cheated on her three months ago and wanted to teabag Jesus. I don't know. I feel like that's a little misplaced. So on the 18th, I have like a um, therapy session. But I'm like starting immediately because I have help from my family to like, you know, help me get in places and stuff. That's interesting. Um, Chantal really did just default to someone else do it for me. And the thing with, I, as much as we have consistently yelled or suggested therapy with Chantal... Chantal is not necessarily the person who I um, think of when I think of doing the work. So that's going to be interesting to unpack. My makeup, I don't have a lot on. Can we go in the handbag? I missed <laughs> down under. Um, yeah, soon. Sometime soon, yeah. I guess, of course, I miss him. And I don't want to shit talk him. Like, that's the only thing I ask. Let's just not talk about him. You can have your opinions, but just keep them to yourself. Like, you know, just he is my husband and... You know, it's important for me, like, a little bit of respect for that. Maybe you should tell that to him. Woof, woof. Lolo, 34 months. Maybe, like... maybe, your, maybe your cheating husband should have a bit more respect for your relationship. I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. That's really fucking cruel. But, like, girl, wake up. I knew it like... Wake up and smell the poo-poos. We're back. I'm glad you were taking care of you. <laughs> Thank you. Ready, Shepard, beef. But we're just going to be... Thank you so much, Lolo. We're going to be, um... Yeah, someday he can visit, but... Like, for now, I'm just fo I have to focus on me and, you know, Beezing. <laughs> He's going to take care of the pets. Don't worry about them. He's taking really good care of them. I, I don't know about that. Julius remains unvac- Julius? <laughs> Julia remains unvaccinated, and Howie's probably not not long for this version. And I, like, talk to him every day, you know, on video to see, okay, this is the pet situation, you know? Hi, Tracy! Jesus, Marissa. <laughs> Wake up and smell the creamy shots. Exactly! Yeah. Because uh, what do I miss about him? Everything. Like, just having that person there with you. Like, I feel lonely. I feel lonely and Whee! blue. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Hold on! I feel lonely and blue! I won't torture you. Without you, baby, without you. Fuck. Oh, you know what I was listening to when I was putting my makeup on? I feel like I'm living out my car. Maybe I am. Ah! Oh. You know that song? I want my MTV. Jesus. Why are we so close? Why are we so close? My nose hairs. Why? And that's the way you do it. You play the guitar on the MTV. I'm hyper as hell. Is that a poot? I'm hyper as hell. Possibly. Yeah, addressing my health. I can't stand the summer there. <laughs> um. It's going to be so wild if we see her, well, if slash when, <clears throat> she takes the hijab off and does something different. It's going to be so strange to see her head, you know? I don't care about seeing her, her hair or anything like that, but just, like, I feel like we've just seen this for so long, and with, like, the varying degrees of filters and stuff, it's just going to be, yeah, I think it's going to be seeing something, something different, someone in a new light, you know? I would just be in all the time, you know? In the summer, it's worse. I'm going to be in. I cannot go outside. I will die there in the summer. So glad you're not one with the sea. Nikki P, thanks, Nikki P. Oh, also, chat, I consistently forget to ask, but thanks for being here. That's not the question. If you'd like to hit the like button, feel free. That's more the question. And if you don't, that's okay. 
I don't think any of those things were questions. But thanks for being here. Yeah, it's normal tough time part. Thanks, Millie. Thanks for you. Steffi, you think she's going to move out with Pete's? So. Maybe. Um, what was I going to say? I will be used. Twisty Misty. Yes, we're going to do all those things. Just give me time. I... Well, Howie got snatched up by an eagle, so that's my head cannon. I want to go eat somewhere. Let's go fight some people at the DQ. How should we start the fight, Hexy? Thanks, Marvels. No, they don't have Nashies right now. I'm disappointed. Greek girl has a note. The mood doesn't last. She eats and Poopy shows up. Everything changes. Yeah, she's in a relatively good mood in this first live stream, and then the second live stream, it's all kind of downhill. Haunted, uh, haunted places, yes. Harvey's. I got a bunch of things. Cheryl Pennington's from Pennington's. <laughs> Cash up, what? Yeah, um, orange tulip. So I have to go thrift shopping or something for all new house stuff. Dollar Tree has plates and things. Don't you need to get a place first, or is your family helping you out with that as well? Wow. Therapy and a place to live? Nice. <sighs> Yo, mom is stuck on a roller coaster? Agathon, what's up? Sam, Sam, and here. Hey, Tracy! How are you doing? Throw a handful of ice cream? No, I don't want to go to jail. Hi, Jenna! Thanks, Georgia girl. Do I have Cash App? I have PayPal. My PayPal? For what? Yeah, milk, I think it's probably going to be mum, to yeah. be fair. Probably not Pete's. I hope it's not Pete's. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. Thank you! We have tornadoes? No way! Uh, <laughs> does that help? Oh, house peas. St. Hubert's? I saw that St. Hubert's has Nashville chicken tenders. <laughs> oh, Ash... Ashe? I agree. Maybe she could get back on that nut salsa villa. <gasps> you know what would be so good? A chicken pot pie from St. Hubert's with a side of Nashville chicken tenders. That's exactly what she wants, and that's exactly what she's going to get. Except she's not going to get part of the order and get really upset about it. Dispensary bees? No. We can dispensary bees whenever I get my own place. You know, I'm just driving around right now, so a lot of driving, so I want to be more clear-headed. I'm so tired. Well, uh, like, I have severe, like, I, I slept, like, went to bed at 11 and woke up at 6.45 a.m. Anyway, sorry about my TMI story about the plane, but it was, like, literally bad for me. And when we're in Frankfurt, my worst nightmare, my anxiety, the girl was like, okay, um, we have a situation, we have a full flight. Full, the hor biggest horror words ever, full flight. What is Foodie's consistent issue with just reaching out to an airline when you book your ticket and saying, hi, I might need a second one, can you help me in some way? She's just relying on flights not being full. That's fucking crazy. Um, Boop, thank you for the super chat, lovely. I hope you're having a good night. Boop says... Hurrah, gang. I just got home from eating way too much delicious Italian food. Oh, nice. I hope you enjoyed it. What a great way to finish the night. I hope so. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the support. So they were asking people to volunteer to check in their um, carry-on luggage because we might not find room. And I was like... And then the, <laughs> the first plane, the guy I had to sit with was a very tiny man. Like, he was not... I'm not making fun of people of size, like, small... Um, what do you, I don't know what you would say. You know, shorter people. I'm not making fun of them. But this guy, he wasn't, like, short, but he was really small. And he had a full beard. I don't know, like... <laughs> Anyway, um... This is the second time she's sat next to someone smaller and been like, it was fine, because I just, like, took up a quarter of their seat. He was like, can I sit here? And I was like... And I got mad. I was like, yes, you may. Um, I'm just gonna go check if there's any other seats available. <laughs> and there were none, so I had to sit beside him, but he was fine. The good thing about sitting beside someone very small when you're fat is they have more room that you can encroach on. <laughs> Get a wheel Pretty beauty. Just such a considerate individual. No more wheelchairs. Those are too much. Honestly, time for poop game round two. Yeah, whatever. I love that she just laughs that off. That's crazy. That's whatever. crazy. I, I, if it happens, it happens. I don't care. Whatever. I'm not going to worry my life about things. If it happens, it happens. I don't care. I'm not going to worry about things. Things being your husband cheating on you. Guys, I really do think they're going to make it. <laughs> I do. I think if it happens again, instead of Chantal, like, impulsively going back to Kuwait, she'll probably be like, we're, yeah, we're in an open marriage. Like, it's fine. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Reginald, fill a deposit funny you. It's true, love. It's so over. <laughs> you seem like yourself again, miss you. Thank you. Yeah, do you know how It was never on. <laughs> it was never on. It was, in, it was a long played out act. It was... It was pantomime for 18 months. <laughs> Crazy. How expensive it is to, like, start up again, so every little bit helps. Like, when your car breaks down, you have to move, 
and you have to travel internationally and you have to buy things at the airport when you're traveling internationally like a lot of fluids which caught every time i would buy drinks at the airport it was like 30 bucks see like, bunny that would be interesting if she did turn around and say no it's not cheating has allowed multiple wives because doesn't the doesn't the aren't the people who are already married in that situation need to have like the 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 thumb of the thumb of approval yes the thumb of approval <laughs> no yes yeah, no problem noni am i living in my kia yes what are the chances we'll get a poopy tell all someday um probably pretty low because he's he's been quite embarrassed so probably pretty low yeah <clears throat> Set the chin free. That's why I'm doing a little bit of the chin. Toe of approval. Hey, Mick. A little bit of the chin. <laughs> My car, like, it wasn't broke. It just had a lot of wear and tear. It had a lot of things wrong. Like, not a lot of things wrong with it. But it oh, made... Paul, thank you so much for the compliment. I hope you're having a great night. It did a lot or of day. maintenance, like regular maintenance, because it was, especially the brakes, they were, like, close to 2,000. I'm not getting, it was, like, all, okay. <laughs> Poop and tell. <laughs> if I called a regular mechanic who's known to be, like, fair price, blah, 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 because they always say the dealership's scamming you. Well, this guy wasn't much cheaper. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with the actual Ikea. Was it OEM parts or something? Like, original Kia parts. And they get... Do you remember when she bought that diagnos that diagnostic machine and she tried to diagnose her own problems in the car? Ah, what a time. Guarantee their work and... Sorry, I need to clean... I need... We need to clean the Kia, man. Oh, new bug. So, yeah. That... that one's fine. That was insane. Okay, there we go. I cannot show my hair. No wife leaves her husband if you love him. Yeah, but I also love myself, so. <laughs> the thumb of approval. I love you. <laughs> I'm here to work on myself. Anyways, uh, that's her business, right? I don't, I can't pin my- There is such deep law <laughs> in this nonsense. My PayPal. Oh, you guys are sweet. You don't have to. But if you want to, my PayPal is. <laughs> I don't know how to pin. I'm on my phone. It's C. Okay, get ready to write it down if you want to. But you don't have to. But if you do, thank you. Okay, so it's C S A R A. Is that my PayPal? Is that my PayPal email? Yeah, C S A R A at C S A R A. What's that stand for? No, you know what? Just look up Foodie Beauty. PayPal.me. Oh no, I think I get it. Backslash Foodie Beauty. Yeah, that's what it is. Thank you, Miss Linda. Welcome home. Ready for supporting the new supporting the new Villa Glow Up? Yeah. Also, like, I'm not I'm not up to date on the terms and conditions of YouTube, but you're not meant to like push people to other because YouTube's really funny about it. They want people to like super chat and. And like be active in the live stream or on like on platform because they take a cut of all of those things did they loosen up that frowny face maybe who knows i want to have like a bed question for a professional youtuber pretty beauty brought bees <laughs> era no, i'm just joking i'm joking independent woman that's the arc yeah docs <laughs> can't wait for the foodie videos yeah i miss honestly i do miss like my, my content was I don't know. My PayPal's my hot. Okay, my hotmail is C S A. Lily asks, do you think we'll get walking vlogs now? No. R A zero eight four at hotmail.com. Yeah. C S A R A. Do you know how bad her sciatica is? Zero eighty four at hotmail.com. Or oh, Stormboard Bird has a note saying three months ago she claims to have her brakes done for two k. Okay, so that was that timeline. Oh my goodness, you're like a mayfly or something. You are a big boy. PayPal.me. Please go away. Backslash Woody Beauty. Or you can request a cameo and get your cameo now. Yeah. So I want to, like, we have the Pennington's bees. We have to do all the beezing. Like, in Kuwait, like, I liked living in a different culture. And oh, I liked... Oh, Dawn, thanks so much. Chat, take your flowers. You're all lovely. Um, but I, I like, like both places, so it's, like, really hard for me. I feel very conflicted. Like, and I feel like hey, an identity crisis a little bit. Ooh, an identity crisis. Oh, no. Yeah. The green wave. Go for a million. Yeah, Jack. Hi, Dawn, welcome! Voodoo, thank you for the super chat. Voodoo says, why isn't she asking for super chats? Why PayPal? I don't know, maybe, I think someone was in her chat asking the best way to support her or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, is the saddest? Like, why was it depressing for you guys? Just because you guys are used to me. Maybe because, like, that's all instant stuff, right? Whereas YouTube, you have to wait till the end of the month. So, probably that reason. Having such an outgoing personality, so being completely muted or what? <clears throat> that's what it was, right? Hi, Georgia girl. So that's good. No, I have not seen the new documentary on me. That was not me. She should. It's a banger. Shout out to Mr. Snowflake. Well. Certified banger. 
I think a lot of it is cultural. I don't think it's like caught on to lava parts. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Have you seen Seb? Oh, I didn't even think about the account shenanigans, Voodoo. Good point. No, I was like happy there, but like, yeah. I feel like I want to break free. <laughs> I want to break free and eat chicken pot pie with some nashies. No, I have to get healthy, but first I need to like have a celebration. Girl. <laughs> Admit it. Thank you, Charlene. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. The celebration is going to be eating St. Hubert's pot pie, drinking gravy as the sun sets in Canada. Wild. Depressing. <laughs> what a party. I miss driving. Like, I love, I was driving down the, the long road singing, I can see, see you. <laughs> the Boys of Summer song. I, mean, I don't have any plans to go back to Kuwait. I don't have a return ticket. Lisa, good to see you. And I agree. I'm getting a place here. Down under. Thank you for joining me. We're going to the British Bees. So we need a Beezer army again so we can go marching into the Bees. I tried my best. Thank you, Joey. These glasses. Maybe SUP someday. I don't know. I'm just taking it day by day now. No, Widow Too Young. <laughs> she she is. You know what? If anyone has sensed a pattern ever, it's me right now thinking about fast food. Uh, what was it? Fast food? Fast food funerals? Yes, that was it. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting that sense that that's going to come up shortly. Boop, thank you again for the super chat, love. Boop says, FYI, your beard is looking especially lush this evening. Thank you so much. I combed it. Oh, I brushed it. No, I combed it. It's combed, technically. Um, I combed it before coming online. Thank you for the compliment. Kiana, like, even if I, like, taking off your hijab? No, I can't. I'm not doing that. I want to come up with different hijab styles. This is the note. Here is the note that instantly made my foodie senses, senses? senses tingle. Foodie Sensi. That's a different thing. No, I can't. I'm not doing that. I wanna... So, Lydia, there's two schools of thought, right? There's the first school of thought, which is we've seen Chantal do this just three months ago and she went back pretty quickly. So this all might just be for a visa. I like to think that Chantal's actually moving back to Canada. That's my hope because it's such a more... It's just... There's just so many more elements and factors that can be interesting to watch um, versus her time in Kuwait. So the other reason why I don't think it she's going back to Kuwait necessarily is because last time it was all very impulsive and because of the Kybella stuff, I think. Um, so maybe she'll take her health seriously now that she's in Canada, but probably not. She's probably just going to eat a whole heap of, whole heap of takeout, get really high, probably have a couple of breakdowns on the internet and, um, ad infinitum. Come up with different hijab styles. Like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Like a more Western hijab style. And when I'm over there, I dress in abayas and hijabs. Like, you know, when in Rome. <laughs> a bees means... Bloody, I think you're right. I think we're on our way back to hoodie territory. Yeah, we can bees in a hijab. And I don't... I, I ate a non-halal chicken sandwich at the airport, by the way. Oh! We're just eating non-halal... Uh, yeah, non-halal food now? Interesting. Yeah, we can bees in a hijab. And I don't... I, I ate a non-halal chicken sandwich at the airport, by the way. Okay. I was so hungry because... You seem happy with yourself. I was like... After, I didn't eat, like, anything on the plane, Air Canada, because of the fact that uh, my stomach was so bad. So by the time I did so much walking, my body feels... This is, sorry, you ate a vegetarian cream cheese sandwich on the first flight, three-hour layover, the flight back from Germany to Canada, didn't eat anything, got wine spilt on you, got to the airport in Canada and decided to eat a non-halal chicken burger. Also, how does a chicken burger become non-halal? Oh, well, I guess that, that's a pretty easy answer. Um, but, like, I, I know that there's, like, an app out there that's going to tell you specifically in, like, Canadian fast food takeaway joints what is and is not halal. I know that that exists, for sure. Canada, because of the fact that uh, my stomach was so bad. So by the time I did so much walking, my body feels so bad right now. Teardrop, hi! Glad you're... Creamy shots and sciatica. See if I was... Foodie beauty story. Thank you, Teardrop. Sorry if I missed you when you came in. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, you can decide what being Muslim means to you. It's personal. Exactly. There's <laughs> I said chicken sandwich wrong. Did I? No compulsion in Islam. Like they say, you're not, you know, like certain things anyways. It doesn't even say in the Quran, you have to wear a hijab on your head. It's interpreted that way by scholars, but mostly what it is verbatim, it's like to cover. Well, she's going to get deep into the, deep into the schooling and the understanding and the scholars. Make like loose clothing so you can't see the form of your body. Like don't sure. dress like what we would call skank dress, you know, which I used to do. Yeah, but I don't miss. But what about that? chicken burger though what about is that 
is is non halal food up for debate by scholars as well? I know we had that whole conversation about like um like uh like seafood like crustaceans and stuff that was really interesting when we were doing reading up on that but anyway i like to be covered up honestly again. whatever I'm, I'm 40 i want to kind of start dressing my age not that if you want to dress you know like that when, when you're 60 that's no problem but for reverting my way is this is what it's giving for me i think i like you know like this stuff like i don't know i want to go walking too Ribia. reginald doll my, the doll i was gonna get for my birthday reggie said please welcome Oh, bunny, 100%, but she seemed fucking giddy at the idea of eating a chicken burger. So, yeah. Thanks, Leslie. Hey, Brooke. Cumbersome. Welcome, cumbersome. Ready, set, bees. Bees. <laughs> Can we dee dee rig bees? <laughs> the short answer is Chantal is interpreting her faith her own way. Organized religion be damned, I suppose. No. Oh, I don't even. Oh, no, I don't have my wig. Maybe. No. Thank you, Lin um, Linda. Yeah, my glasses are new. No wine. I'm not going to drink alcohol. She ate a sandwich that upset her stomach. Yes, she narrowly avoided pooping herself on the next flight. That one's debatable because she may have sharded her pants. Um, relieved her bowels. There you go. And bought a sandwich. Yes. In, sh in short, yes. Had a terrible sandwich. Shat her pants. Decided to fill up again on another sandwich. A different sandwich. you got to refuel the tank. Like, oh, but no. Turbo Two, it's welcome to Grand Prime Users. Ready to Peace. Hi, Glam Gal. Thank you, everybody, Michelle. I'm tickle my nose. So I'm pretty much just gonna bees around the bush. I'm gonna take some pain meds. No, no. Ooh, what? How many milligrams? Yeah, I can have one, one more pill. Because that's my brand is Foodie Beauty, you know. Just one more pill. That's a fucking weird brand. <sighs> Is incorporate a real person or AI? I don't know. Also, she's measuring these things by milligram. What? What is she taking? Never heard of them. Thanks for the super chat. Who's that? Just popping, popping pain pills. <laughs> Brittany, what's going on? Tangerine, thank you, Nashi girl. I'm looking for my Kleenex. I think we might be done with Ramadan, um, Bunny. Yeah. I was run out of Kuwait by the Islamic radicalists. No, I wasn't. They're not, there's no radicalists in Kuwait. Those are mostly in Syria. I do wonder whether or not what she's taking has on the little packet, like, do not operate heavy machinery. Because you probably shouldn't be driving with those either. Afghanistan, Pakistan. Not the Gulf country. Maybe Saudi Arabia. No, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, I've never... This is the sound of Canada, like, Chantal in Canada. It's the Canadian National an Anthem and Chantal blowing and fucking nose huffing. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm gross. <laughs> oh yeah, I was listening to, so I was listening to The Dire Straits. I need to, and I can't go to eat. My hijab is slipping. <laughs> Pakistan bees. <laughs> it's probably, yeah, she probably cleared it with her Dr. Lily. You're right. I'm overthinking it. <laughs> Hi, Miss Linda. Did it, Brenda? No. Pete's Bees, please. He's working. What do you want for your birthday? I don't know. My birthday's over. <laughs> Hoop a cop and celebrate with cousins. Oh, it is. She couldn't even celebrate <laughs> it online. That was sad. I had a decent birthday. Hi, Ribby. Happy belated birthday. Thank you, Ribby. Thank you. I don't even care who's talking shit about me right now. I feel too, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Happy. <laughs> Miss Grapegoat. Sister, I think you missed the answer pair today. Oh, no. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I did, actually. But again, that's my personal business. It's okay, Chad. I'm just looking for out. the bug. And I can't, I'm not doing it. Like, I can do it in my heart in public, but. Mike, remember for three months, happy belated birthday 40th. Thank you, Mike. Ready, set, rebies. <laughs> Thank you. Zoe, I got back to Canada yesterday. Yeah, I'm staying in Canada for good. We should do a stories. <coughs> Boycotting, supposed to. Okay, I'm coming back. The babysitter's going up in the corner. Don't worry. Um. So yeah, just I came back here like for many reasons. Like there's just I don't even know how to give one answer. So find the lie, find the lie. Those pillows. What? Hi, Susie. I go back and forth. Do you know how many times I've made this trip? Like what six? I'll read my chat. Sorry, Bernie. What did I miss? I don't. Again, I don't mean to be rude, but I really hope she doesn't go back. I'm so full of life, love the sun rain. 
down under shopping bees. But she is defiant. See, the thing is, we're all going to talk about her not going back, and then she's going to be like, right, next month I'm going back to Kuwait just because I can. Just pissing away more money on a flight. Yeah, I'm still married. I'm so relieved when I come back here. Well, you know, while I'm here, yeah, like, there's a relief, but at the same time, there's, like, a heartache a bit, you know? So. Didn't you just say you don't care whether or not he cheats on you again? Yeah. Heartache? That's from the enlarged heart, not from, like, Oh well, that's life. I want to be somebody. I want to be somebody, Billy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Canada looks good on you. Mimi Pondu. So I think we're falling down again. Ready? Look at my face. We're getting ready to be. <laughs> okay, let's. I'm gonna go drive somewhere to have dinner, Whee! and then. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. The stupid thing. <laughs> oh gosh, I gotta lose weight. How does she have the money for it? I don't know. She probably asks her mum. Don't you fall. Because, like, back in Canada now, right? Like, she's going to have to file taxes. Taxes would you... No, wait. Taxes are due in Canada at the end of this month? In April sometime, right? <laughs> Circle in the sand. Yeah, true. That's what I'm here for. Accounting piecing? Yes, I'm getting Sam. <laughs> and yes, I'm going to take very good care of him. His nails are not going to get too long. Chantel. DX, we have certainly been here before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. This is one of Chantal's old haunts, I feel. This trusty box, yeah. Mob. Toys. Yeah, that's true. Some of the abusers are coming back. Balls deep, you can dream on. I'd rather be dead. Can we go egg their house? Yeah, I have a video. Yeah, I filmed some of the journey. Yeah. <clears throat> We're not over. No. Circle in the sand. Thank you, Brittany! Yeah, Sam is coming back. Yeah. My poor guy. I hope not. I hope Sam... I don't know. I hope Sam pulls a full, like, homeward bound if if he's being given back to Chantel. Maybe Sam and Buster could, like, run away together or something. Sam, Buster, and Titan! It is homeward bound! <laughs> There's a tractor coming. Except Homeward Bound is a terribly sad movie. Don't watch it. Hi. There's a tractor with a guy who's carrying a big piece of a tree. I didn't escape. Yes, of course. Let the fucking begin now. <laughs> I have been to Germany. Mim, you're on a layover. Yeah. Not only the German, the uh, Frankfurt airport. I can't type in the... I can't type in the chat. It's not possible my paypal unless someone wants to type it it's c s a r a c sarah 084 at hotmail.com or paypal.me slash backslash of flutie beauty <clears throat> yeah salah and i are fine I'm, we, i didn't come here because um anything to do with the relationship i came here for it's too hot to wait i need health care relationship never really existed who am i to say that just an audience member who's watched the two of them engage with each other for the last 18 months i miss driving i miss teasing And uh, I want to take a stab at my career in yodeling. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Julia, yeah, he's going to take care of Julia. Um, we've we've had this conversation already. Bring her here, you know, or if he if something happens and he can't, I will go back to Kuwait and get her and just feel find out. Like, I'm overwhelmed with bringing... I am not healthy enough. Like, first of all, I can't... Ooh, Steffi, maybe. Maybe we'll get a legal arc. I can't have my own pet until, like... That could be fun. Get my own place. So right, right then, where would she come right now, you know? Second... I'm barely well enough to take myself on this freaking journey. Stupid. 17 and a half hour freaking travel day. Ugh. I legit, like, I can't even tell you. You're so tired. I took a red eye. My flight was at 1.45 a.m. So, like, it was, like, you're tired already. And then when you start falling asleep, they turn on the lights. It's like, you, we got to Frankfurt at, like, 6 something in the morning. I was so tired. Then you have to walk around a huge airport. Why? That's pretty much her t schedule anyway. She was up at fucking 3 o'clock every morning doing live streams before wait in a huge line for so tired for security and then like it's just 18 hours yep because he can't just come here like you know can't you drive with the camera pointing upward oh no i can't do that something will happen welcome back no name we all miss you thank you sunflower it's very hard leaving him it's not easy chantal the link is for the people so they don't want to be attacked for supporting your channel <laughs> not a stepmom lottie oh i got it <laughs> me personally i don't care 
<clears throat> no, I totally get that. Yeah. Can we get stoned tonight? But I get my own place. We can have like a, I don't know, hamburger rice, bees and no. <laughs> we can have like, you know, a hangout at nights. I can do like live streams like three times a day again. <laughs> Coffee bees, dinner bees, cooking bees, and cooking. night bees, and Mario bees. Mm, THC bees. Gummies bees. <sighs> No, I'm too nervous driving. Through. Well, see, Milk, that's what I was going to ask. Like, I don't know whether or not it it's just convenient that she didn't fly Qatar because she was saying, oh, I needed the layover. In my mind, I'm like, girl, take a day or two in Germany. Like, be lovely. Like, it doesn't have to be that hard. Um, but then I was thinking about it, like, maybe it was cheaper doing it through there. I don't know. Interesting, though. Wait. I still have the same old CPAP. Yeah, I'm gonna get food, Cassidy. They have healthcare, but it's expensive for like certain- Ooh, ooh, milk. I know you've already seen this, but what are your thoughts? Also spoilers, cause I know you'll no doubt talk about it in a reaction. Yeah, I'm gonna get food, Cassidy. They have healthcare, but it's expensive for like certain things. Mm-hmm. You know? I was attacked and accused of being a troll. People don't know we've been friends for a while. Certain things. Yeah, I heard that, no name. That's not cool. Well, considering the cream cheese sandwich milk, you're right. Are you doing a react after this? Okay. Anyways. I'll watch it in my morning. Um, I'm trying to think of what I want to eat. Where do I want to take you guys? What are we in the mood for? Asian, Indian, not Indian. Sansa, lovely to see you. <laughs> I hope you're having a fabulous day. Sansa has a note saying, Lamau. So where's the $3 office visit? That's a really good point. Wasn't she telling us it was just a couple of dollary dues? A loony and a toony to go and visit the doctors in Kuwait in the clinics. Interesting. See, he works. <laughs> the pot pie. Should you bring your play button home? Hey, Brenda, thank you. Lock my... I brought my play button home because I'm going to have it... I'm going to send it back and they're going to send me one that says Foodie Beauty <laughs> because the Miriam one is damaged. Like there was a dent in it. She took a hammer to it. So they said if it's damaged? I don't think she took a habit to it. She's not going that far. She probably just dropped it and kicked it a few times. I can stood on it or something. Turn it. They will send me a label, I return it, and then once they get it, they'll send me one back. I just waved at a farmer. Walk <laughs> by. Yeah, that's not halal though. I have not missed the nose huffing. There's not much halal stuff here. No more three dollar back shots, you're right, Lottie. The mystery back shots. Say goodbye. Bye bye, back shots. Smash it with a hammer and get a new one, inshallah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. I might. Well, that's fair milk. And understanding with in Chantal's situation, they would assume that she, as a tourist, would be returning home to receive appropriate health care. Well, down the hill, yeah. Because I'm just modest, I can do a modest workout rolling. Put in. Yeah. Farm boy bees. Oh, she is gonna fuck up a poots in. Yum. She, she yum. is. I'm farm boy. Mark that's and... gonna be. Keep an eye out for that mark bang because that's gonna get messy. Jeez. <laughs> I know. I thought Booty Beauty was dead. Well, some parts, <laughs> but you know. <sighs> Anyways. She is she who she is. I'm just trying to be positive. Like it is hard, you know. When, like sometimes I have to really try, because I do like. Anyway, I miss a lot of things, you know? Yeah, I think based on this energy, I'm getting she flew in probably like three days before this. Like probably flew, maybe even flew out like the day of the strike. Anyway. <laughs> no, L5, I'm not. <laughs> it was happy I was home. A lot of people. Both, yeah. Texas, hello, good to see what you. What are buffalo balls? <laughs> Not right now, Jerry. Most people have to try to be positive. It doesn't come natural for everybody. Oh, God. Yeah, nothing like the Western world. I don't know. Oh, SM, congratulations, mate. The East, too. Hope you're doing well. And there's things I miss even about Thailand. Like, every culture has its pros, you know? Yes, if, you know, if we were over, I would tell you guys if I felt like it, but... Stop <laughs> They're done. To eat They're done. They were never on. Done. Fresh food, yeah. The goose is cooked. Like eating like junk though. No, I'm kidding. 
Just don't become a party mouth. I have lots of bad language. No, I'm not going to. No, yeah. I don't think I will. Ah, no. It's okay. Go be happy in both places. It's less okay than happy. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, Canada has better gravy. Just breathe and take your time with everything. Yeah, exactly. Pretty high up there on the priority list of reasons to return to Canada. What a fact. Gravy. That's fine, Jessica. <laughs> Just put this in your purse when you drive. Dude, that's. I want to listen to music and things. Do they have fork? We really don't need driving live streams with Foodie. It's fine. We can wait for her to get to destinations and then do that. Salad in Canada. What? High energy. Strawberry picking bees. Healthy meals only. Belinda's big five head. I'm so happy right now. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Person. The thing is, it's going to take some time for her to, like, because she won't, I don't think she's allowed to stream in mum's place, so that's going to take a while for her to get a a stable, like, streaming space. Bees. That's not just, like, the car parked up the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously they're going to be higher right now. I was gone for a while. Who said the weekend? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of love and support here. That's another reason, too, yeah. You know? I just felt like, what future do I have over there? I can't, like, in the summer, I can't go out. Like, I guess if I worked really hard, really hard, I guess making a future for myself, I need to be healthy, like, no matter what. But there, it was, like, a lot harder for me, you know? Why was it harder? Didn't you tell us all you had the super support of your loving husband? And he was going to help you get fit? Why aren't you guys going to the gym together and stuff? So I do have a lot more support here. Just wanted... You have more support in Canada than from your loophole... Jesus teabagging husband. That's weird. Bees, let's drive to Orange Julie. Maybe he was too busy working or something. Auntie M, hello, lovely to see you. Thank you for being here for 20 damn months. Auntie M says, I stand by my opinion the play button is from eBay. I mean, I don't think you're wrong. I would love to see when she gets the second play button back, I want her to hold both of them up. That way we get a direct comparison. Bees, are you kidding? I can't go live at Orange Julep. People are going to show up there. They know where that is. But thanks for the super chat. <laughs> I can get some dog spray. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> That's illegal. What are you even allowed to defend yourself with in Canada? It's illegal to have everything. It's like if someone's trying to kill you and you pepper spray them, you go to jail for the pepper spray and they go to jail for murder. But you still go to jail for the pepper spray. Do you go to jail for pepper spray? Pretty sure. I feel like there are... Forgive me if I'm incorrect, but there might be, like, legal... Like... Protections around self-defense. She is stupid. <laughs> so, I just, I feel, I can't be weird in public there. That's the only thing. But she can do it here. Well, in Canada. I'm going to get some bear spray. Carry a butter knife. Hey, remember that, uh, the death of a cheerleader? The woman had a knife with her cucumbers in the car? Is that allowed? No. Evie's beauty. I couldn't, like, use an illegal weapon, though. Oh, she has to send the previous one back. So she lugged the fake one all the way from Kuwait to Canada just to pretend send it back. What a waste of luggage space. It's my problem. I can't. I could never. Anyways, I'm just kidding. I would never do that. I'm not leaving the Kia. So if you come up to me, I'm just going to drive away. Bright neon stain. Hi, Vanessa! Putt putt. I don't pay the car. No, Shay, I kind of agree. Payments. I know you guys think that, but I don't. So yes, I'll be fine. Sorry, what was that? I don't pay the car payments. I know you guys think that, but I don't. Oh, I think she means the Timo mobile. So yes, I'll be fine. Do you hear this, or is it just me? So, um, any other questions before I'm, I'm going to go live again? Where I get when I get to where I want to eat, I guess. Oh, bear spray is allowed? Interesting. I'll just say I'm on a... I'm not going to Akron. Well, I'm not going to Ohio. I'm not going anywhere where pot is illegal ever again. Oh, she did say the Kia was paid off. Hi, Christina! Who the fuck paid off the Kia? Probably mom. Take your health seriously, please. I don't know. Anyway, sushi? Hey, Vanessa. I'm just back. Just for a lot of reasons. I'm, just, I'm okay, but live your life, yeah. Thanks, no name. I'm not planning on going to Kuwait right now, though. Anytime soon. Take us. I'm not going. I'm not doing that travel journey anymore. Like I, I can't do it. Okay, so she might be staying in Canada for a while. Like the thousands of dollars spent back and forth. Um. Yeah, all for a loophole marriage. It's crazy. The the the, the toll it takes on you mentally. Like every minute, I'm just like, okay, just stay calm, just stay calm. In every lineup, in every, like, ugh. it was just a lot of walking. I'm not used to that. And, it, you know, in Germany airport, you can't ask for help. Like, I, I'm like, is this shuttle? Is there, like, a shuttle service? Like, 
They're like, oh, ma'am, you have to pre-book that. It's like for people who are like disabled and you need to book it two days in advance. I was like, okay. Guess you better start walking. <laughs> I'm scared here. I gotta go. I do wonder how many steps in the day Fruity gets. Hi, Sabri. It's probably not four digits. Oh, it is true? How are you? Thanks, Evie. Her tattoo is showing. Did you know it says fries? Kitty. I seem happier. It's sad, though. I have a bidet. I took one with me. Salah got me one. <laughs> we thought of that, too. See, that's what I miss about him. He thinks of things. <gasps> oh, my God. I can't wait for the Chantel tries to install a bidet in her new <laughs> apartment. Bees. <laughs> Oh, she's going to flush fecal matter back into the Canadian waterways, isn't she? I feel I feel like she's... Or just never have it installed. Anyway. I don't know. There's things that you'll, you don't know and will never understand. <laughs> because I don't talk about it. But, yeah. Everything else. Yeah, he is thoughtful, you know, in, in a lot of ways. Bidet bees. <laughs> Yeah, I brought, brought a bidet with me. I hope I can install it. <laughs> Useless is the right word, Jack. <laughs> like, I hear birth, but I can't see them. Is the tattoo on her chest the Batman logo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Chat, please confirm. <laughs> Please confirm with Ashley that the tattoo on Chantel's chest is the Batman logo. <laughs> so, guys. Well, that's a new head cannon. Thank you. <laughs> you gave me a bidet. Yeah, we had an extra one. I don't remember why. <laughs> oh, I think we took the one because the old one at our old place was ours. I don't remember. Uh, it was really good. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah, Emma, he's, yeah, it's very different. It's like, not just that, but. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's what it is. <laughs> it's weird. I feel a bit lonely. But you've never heard the story of Chantel's tattoo on her chest? But that's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to run, keep running back. Like, I have to, like, stick to my guns. <laughs> Make an Amazon wish list for your new place. Thanks for the super chat. Thank you. Thanks, Melly. Oh, dear. <laughs> that's not the plan that Mimi Pondu. Hi, Sula. I'm sorry. Do you know how hard it is when you've been through something like that with someone you trust them when you're away? So obviously I'm dealing with that. But the thing is, is I'm not stitch. going to let it um, ruin like my time, you know? And that's really hard for me because that's all I sometimes want to focus on. So I have to force myself to like be productive and distract myself with other things and get used to this new reality. And it feels like I'm always getting used to it in reality. And it's like really mentally hard, you know? Like I, I make my life harder on myself. Okay. I'm good. It's fine. <laughs> I'm good. Ow. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So, I mean, you know. <laughs> Thanks, fake love life. Yeah. I know what you mean. Okay. I, I think she's getting into low energy mode. I just want to focus on positive things. <laughs> Electric boogaloo. <laughs> No, if I ever, if something ever happened and I had to be single again, I would stay that way. I don't have any emotional energy to invest in something. I just don't, I, I can't do it. I don't. Give it a month. Give it a month. I don't want to. Give it a month. So happy with just good people around me. That's platonic. Fine. That's fine with me. Platonic? <laughs> Loophole husband. Platonic. Interesting. I think it's done. I think it's done. I think the relationship is done. The relationship that never was, done. Yep. Just, I'm fine. Just talking about being single. Just talking about platonics. If anything ever happened, give it a month. <laughs> Kerry, thank you for being here for 29 months. Kerry says 18 months and I've said it says 29 on mine and thousands of air miles. Oh, to end back up here, you mean Chantel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, in a, I would say Chantel's definitely in a worse spot now than <laughs> when she left Canada. Because when she left Canada for this loophole marriage, she at least had, she had the luxury villa living with Pete's. Plus side, she gave up her cats for him. But she at least had, she had the Kia. She's got the Kia back. She had a place to stay, which is something. I don't know, she had a larger, she definitely had a larger audience. A lot of people kind of 
exited pretty quickly during Kuwait. I mean, a lot of us hung on and then it got a month into it and we're all kind of tired of the show and the show continued for 18 months. I'm 40. No. <laughs> she had a wig collection. You're right. She had a lot. She had a kitchen chair. She had a baker's rack. I can't keep, not just age. I don't care. I, I can't keep doing it. My great grandfather fell in love at 89. Let's go to Farmway and use the bathroom. <laughs> why is she talk? Why did, sorry. Why did you mention your great grandfather falling in love at 89? My great grandfather fell in love at 89. Oh. Let's go to Farmway and use the bathroom. I <laughs> just want to be. Okay, I will do that even. One month, Chantel will be back on Tinder. Eventually. <laughs> yeah, I am color purple. 100% NS. Thanks, guys. <laughs> she did. Has she needs to get that camera that follows her back around? I don't know if they make one for the phone, but they should. Over 25, you're right. A robust colony of fruit flies. Many women, we don't need them. She had so many things. So many things going on. It's just like Dracula. Marie, thank you for being here for six months, lovely. Marie says, I love you, Poppy. You give fair, funny, and cute energy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the compliment, lovely. I hope you're having a good day. I don't. And you're in root beer. <laughs> no name, keep things private, hun. Whatever. She we'll... spent 600 Canadian loonies on a wig that she chopped. Be will be, you'll be okay. Justice for the $600 wig. Yeah, thank you, no name. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I, out of respect for my relationship, because I know you, I want to address just this that I know you, a lot of you can't comprehend how I could even you know, ever forgive somebody, like, forgive him for that or whatever. Oops, sorry, no drama. What? And you're right, yeah. I, out of respect for my relationship, because I know you, I want to address just this, that uh -huh. I know you, a lot of you can't comprehend how I could even, you know, ever forgive somebody, like, forgive him for that or whatever. I know how you did it. You don't have a lot of self-worth or self-esteem. You're desperate for attention and companionship, and you don't matter, you don't care where it comes from. See, pretty much everyone you've been seeing since Frank entered the picture, so... I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't take a rocket scientist. But like I said, I've evaluated on based on a lot of other things, good things in a relationship. What, again, what good things outside of companionship? I'm not saying companionship isn't worth something. It is. It absolutely is. But like, if, if, if that's it, like, and that's what, that's what makes you happy. Go for it. But I, I don't trust this. I don't trust this. Saxu, thank you for being here for 12 months. Happy anniversary. Saxu says, thank you for being here for my morning routine. You're welcome. Thank you for taking us along for your morning routine. Hope you have a great morning. Hello, bug. What are you? You're like a little cricket. Oh, you're like a little cricket. There's so many bugs. So many bugs. And, um, you know, I made that decision. Um, that being said, um, you know, I'm also not going, I'm also taking care of myself and not gonna, like, I'm always, I always have my guard up in a way now, you know? So I also, um, just out of respect for my marriage i don't want to talk about like very personal things about our relationship or about salah um you can probably never talking about him again actually uh, yeah jessica you guys don't have to like you know i know a lot of people uh, bees are still like him and no he is really good to me in a lot of ways and i mean actually no to be fair bees is probably do like poopy they seem like a like they don't have great judges of character collectively you know yeah that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna like talk personally about a relationship I didn't do that really with Bibi, right? I don't think so. Um, well, maybe a little bit. But it's, when things are about me and how I'm feeling, it's hard not to talk about that, you know? But take your time to settle in and just breathe. Thank you, Keena Bear. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm single. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Emma Pearl. Maybe. Thanks, Lily Mindfully. Thanks, Don. I'm glad you guys understand. Most OG users do. I feel like now would be the perfect time for Chantal to show us the wedding license. <laughs> well... <sighs> Anyways, yeah, I can't go through. I could never go through that again. No. These moonlight desires haunt me. They want me. <laughs> I was listening to that and singing, and I realized I would be on a cringe compilation if anyone saw this. No, Adonis, yes, let's go. That's probably one of her, like, top five goals for this year. Oh. Hey, Ariel. <laughs> I want to go have dinner. Where have you changed your mind? Hi, Melissa. Yeah, Grandma G, I am. How long until she confesses it over? A month. I think a month. I'm worlds away from my husband, yeah. So I'm, I'm sad about that. You know, because I really do love him, but I feel like I had to come back. But then whenever I get here, I'm so sad, and I miss Julia and Harry. You can't ever say goodbye enough, you know? But I hope I see her again someday. In reference to Julia, I hope I see her again someday. So big, big plans to go back to Kuwait, huh? 
<laughs> Grabbing fajitas. Chad, I think it's over. <laughs> I think Please, it's money done. for rescue mission. She's fine with Salah for now. He's the cat dad. I felt bad. Whenever you have a pet, you, who, how do you decide who has custody? You know? Like, when I when I moved out from PT, he kept Timbit and I kept the other cats. Like, But this cat, we got together, and he grew very, very close to her. We both did. We had her, like, nights every night. She would be laying on the bed. I'd be laying across the bed the other way. Who's who's doing shapes with Pulpy right now? We had her like nights every night. She would be laying on the bed. I'd be laying across the bed the other way, and she would lay right at, right by my head at his feet, and we would watch a movie because I'm more comfortable when I watch a movie like laying this way, and he's more comfortable this way. Julia's like this, and she watches TV with us, and like she yawns and she and she, her breasts were like fishy moo. He's the best pet dad. Uh, I don't remember the name of the eyeliners from Amazon. How were the chat? Use your words. Tell me how. Describe to me how they were laying in bed. <laughs> is it an L formation or like a 10 formation? Is it is it feet to head? Ew. 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 <laughs> I'll check. Yeah, teardrop. Hi, Abel and Maverick. Hi. <laughs> the pets are fine, Halfway. You're being dramatic for nothing. She's fine. I'm going to get her back. We grow through our experiences and experience. If it continues or not, we'll make you grow and stronger. Traveling and getting... Yes, and getting into other cultures, like experiencing other... L, her head at his feet. But they didn't have that big of a bed. Cultures, yeah. Exactly. Years. It's always about feet. Julia's fishy fish! <laughs> what? I think Wolverine's about is heartbreaking. Oh my god, Mr. Snowflake. Hi, good to see you. How's your beard going? I don't know if I want Chinese... What time is it? What about Speaking of, Jimmy Bunker was in here before. We were talking about beads. Hope you well. Thanks, ABCDFG. Harry Howington. Yeah, I want to get Harry Howington back. I couldn't bring them right now. There's no way. There's just no way. Hi, Phoenix. Also, Chantel, just to catch you up in case you weren't aware, Chantel's returned to Canada. Where would they stay? We're back in the Kia. Until I get my place. Oh. Pretty sure the relationship with Poopy's over. Haley Henry, welcome to your first bees. Not pizza, pizza. I want to go in somewhere and relax. She does not in fact do that she eats in the car as the sun sets in canada it's very romantic <laughs> carolina yeah hi carrie carrie and minnie also mr snowflake i saw you left a comment about um me graphically describing the the um the fupa boil and how and what happened there did you have any more questions did i explain that well enough i hope i did and i also hope you enjoyed the reaction because it was very fun very wonderful content thank you I know, every time I eat Chinese, you're right, Jessica. I always complain about it. It's one of those things. Domino's, no. Put in, oh yeah, put in, no. My face. Oh, he does, Millie. We, we video chat. Yeah, okay, Rook. Lachine Steakhouse, my ass. Um, yeah, yeah, but not today, I didn't. I haven't really been, I don't know, like. Has, see, I can't believe we've spoken about having a chalkboard for so long. And we never... Oh, I need to get a chalkboard. That's what I need to do. I'm going to get one. I'm adding it to the list. If I take my meds without the pills, I don't know if I... Because that way I can... I like... I can draw. Like, I try fasting, but then, like, sometimes... Do I have pictures of the food of oil for research purposes, of course? Why would you ask me that? <laughs> if I take my pills on, like, on an empty stomach? Especially the pain ones. The, the NSAIDs or the... Like, it just feels... Oh, my God. I don't think we ever got to see, like, the undercarriage of it pre, mid, or post boil. But I feel like if you, I feel like if you looked up, like, like, apron boil human infection in like google images it'd probably come up <laughs> it's the worst stomach pain so i've learned that no if i'm gonna take if i need to take my pain, <coughs> something with it. you were kidding okay well expect your dms to have um <laughs> some some really fun images this is what happens this, you never ask for the images never <laughs> vietnamese you're gonna have chinese on him yum terrible mistake <laughs> Ew. No way. No, not to that Stepping way. Stepping foot into, like, the body horror portion of Google Images. Oh, no. <laughs> Down in Canada. Yeah. 
Because see, she had one on her back as well, right? She had one on her back and then developed one on the fupa. Do you have any buffalo chicken wrap? <laughs> it's real though. Yeah, but I'm kind of having trouble not eating. <gasps> chicken parmesan! She did describe it as quite quite the smell as well. Okay, I'm going to go find some. We're going to move away from that. Tomorrow I'll come back. But Chantal's back in Canada. Yay. There's no bathroom around here. I gotta pee. Yeah, with the NSAIDs. Yeah, and my diet, like my Janumed, you have to eat with, take with food. I don't know. I think that's what the doctor said. Did, did anyone suss um, the painkillers by any chance? <laughs> my tortilla. Pain pills? I don't know how to refer to them as. I can't have bacon. Chicken parma noodles. I know she's been talking about NSAIDs and stuff since Kuwait, so I wonder whether or not it's that, or whether or not she's on something different now that she's back in Kuwait, uh, back in Canada. All Chinese. Oh, I'm all Chinese. Did she describe the smell as Mingan? No, she didn't. Yes. No, not mall. To go in a mall right now? But, like, I'm pretty sure most people, when you tell them, like, like, a, a pussy-infected bloody boil, like, there's a specific scent... I imagine that would come to mind. Hi, Travonda. Be safe and keep positive picture. Thank you, Mistress Von Dracula. Amber chick. What? Oh. It's like body temperature rotten vomit. Yeah. It's probably a pretty close description. I'm going to do my best daily. Yes. Shanghai 360. I think they do. Do what the dogs. Away with words. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, shiny object. Hello. Lasagna yum. <laughs> Home dog. There's some halal Indian ammo, but hibachi? Hibachi! <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go pick somewhere and I'll go live again when I'm there, okay? Sorry, chat. <laughs> also, don't get mad at me. Pete's was the one who had to pack it. Yeah, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Jamaican meat patties, the place is gonna close. Rita's, hello! We don't have a Sonic yellow. Yes, I have a plan on getting a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> SM, you're gonna enjoy your cream cheese bagel? I hope you do. Excited. Bruschetta. Yeah, you can get an ulcer, exactly. Watch your back to your top. Yeah, exactly. Should put a wig on your heat. Body has a note. It's fine, Zach. She sterilized it with pea hands before James packed it and wrapped it. It's true. Makes a disguise. Hi, Monica. Thank you. Hi, Louise. Thank you, Louise. Thank you, guys, everybody. Um, Cheese and ham cheddars? What is that? I can't eat ham. If you're Muslim with health issues that require you to stay hydrated. I have to stay hydrated, yeah. Bunny, there have been some unfortunate zoom-ins. You're right. The meds, Very if they don't take a lot of water with the Med, they can cause... Hey, Caroline, they can cause... um. Lilith, I feel like Pete's did blow dry it because it was wet. Yeah. Because it was painful and, like, hot to the touch. So I feel like Pete's did try to, to air out the fupa boil. I don't know if he used a hairdryer or not. But she did have a hairdryer. Kidney issues. Yeah, Lynn. Ulcers? I don't know. Mmm beef and cheddar <gasps> pizza's working eat ham as medicine ew hey sky fiero it's good to see you <laughs> okay mac and cheese loaf that has pork i wish i could have that it's my favorite deli meat arby's got the meats oh, i'm gonna go in somewhere and eat like just some... i feel like she compared it to the size of a fruit as well i'm not quite sure how large okay i'll go find somewhere and i'll come back I'll be back, guys, so watch out. Okay, Chantel's going to come back. Like I said, we might not be able to get through this entire St. Hubert's Bees. It does get really dull towards the middle, which is a shame because she's back in Canada and we, you know, we love that for her. Um, but it is it is dark outside. Chantel's got food. Here we go. Sandwich. This is not health food, so don't be mad. But I need to eat this because I'm craving it bad. Comfort food is what it is. It makes me not be sad. Turning her up, sorry. You know what would make me happy if the stupid thing? Oh, yes. sorry, too much. <laughs> too far. Yes. <laughs> Poopy does ruin the vibe, you know? I feel like we'd never have gotten the boil story if Poopy were around. Hi! Remember when she, she said butt and he kicked her under the chair, uh, under the table? Hmm. Anyway, different energy now. Oh no, I have two of them scheduled? <laughs> Hi, Brooke. Why am I messing up my streams? Sarah, we're still trying to put the timeline together, but we think probably, I think personally within, like, probably about five days ago. Within the last week. Within the strike discussion. So gravy. This is not what I want to do with my life, okay? Hi, guys! This is not what you want to do with your life? Chantal, you're eating in the Kia at the, on the side of the road. This is your day ending with why. What? No, I shouldn't be eating this. Sambosa, yeah. 
don't say these things. I want to go back already, but I'm not going to. Hi, Gemini. Hi, everybody. I missed I miss too many people again. Catch up on it. Okay, I got St. Hubert's. I don't want to... So popular, you guys. Eat in the restaurant for some reason. So I just took it to go. Rosemary's baby. Hi, Jackie, Susie, everyone I missed. Hello. Well, she wasn't going to mukbang in the St. Hubert's, so... Melissa? Here we are. Did her and Poopy <laughs> break up? Well, I mean, were they ever on to begin with, Caitlin? I think the act is just now dissipating. <laughs> Oh, M's, no, the law of drinking gravy is a well-established one. That is, that's no one's headcanon. That's reality for foodie. Hey, Trixie. No, We're going to watch an example of it. I don't have two strikes. I got a strike before, but it only lasts 90 days. That's why. It's gone. So if you cannot strike my channel, that would be great. Oh. St. Hubert's isn't halal? Oh, well, Chantal had a chicken burger at the airport, apparently, and didn't really give a flying fuck so frozen gravy which is funny because chickens have wings flying haha <laughs> whoops oops sorry <laughs> doot, doot. okay i went to the drive store and i'm like hey can i order your holy shit your pot there's gonna be a huge box of in here i'm like hey can i order your pot pie they're like you can hey aisha hey thank you for the super um thing or the the birthday message i did see it just not long ago thank you the fuck is this <laughs> why is everything broken Chad, is this a good-looking pot pie? Canadians in the chat specifically. St. Hubert's chicken pot pie. What are our thoughts? Fan? Not a fan. I mean, I'm sure it's delicious. Remember when Chantal made that chicken pot pie with the olive oil crust on top? <laughs> that was only a few months ago. Slop? Cat sick. Maybe it tastes good. I don't know. I'll like it in a, in a bit. Hey, Desert Rose, look at this. Silvio, hi, me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> don't start, Brenda. Hi, Joey. Okay. <clears throat> She's already been gnawing on it. Well, the top, like, that's what confused me. The pastry top is all broken and cracked and half of it's missing. But uh, she did take the strings off the shoebox that this was delivered in, so. Um, <laughs> what am I going to... Give me two forks, probably think that it's going to be for two people. It's, it, no, it's one pot pie. Hi, Z. Hey, Anastasia. Okay, what are we going to eat first? Some frying gravy? Okay, let's have some frying gravy. I forgot ketchup. Hi, Sabri. Joke's on them. Rosemary's. I don't have any lights in here, hardly. She needs to get one of those little clip-on light things. Because this isn't going to work, man. Juniper, lovely to see you. Thank you for being here for 34 months, mate. I appreciate it. Juniper says, just popping in after the love you all. Love right back, mate. I hope you're having a good day. And thank you for being here. You want a pot pie? Oh, stop it. A turkey pot pie with Easter dinner leftovers? Bear, that sounds magical. Sounds no. so good. No, because I have to take the medications. And I need to drink water because of my diabetes. It's too hard. There's somebody coming. Yeah, for anyone who is actually thinking that Chantal was following the fasting of Ramadan, no. Like, I don't even think Chantal convinced herself. Coming. No. You're not required to fast if you have medical reasons and you're going to just an excuse, whatever. It's not. I mean, it is, yeah. Yeah, but again, when you were sitting up in Kuwait, you were saying you were practicing fasting and lying. Good, good. I mean, to the shock of nobody. It's a valid one, you know. <laughs> I did at the beginning fast, yeah. I think that's a lie. But my health is different now. From last Ramadan to this one, <gasps> a lot worse. What about like two weeks ago when you were telling us you were fasting for Ramadan? I'm on medications now. I wasn't before. The geese never gone. Yeah, ma'am, I'm gonna say 12 months ago you still had the diabetes. Just, just, that might be rude of me to say, I don't know, but. Yeah, yeah, Lou. Uh -huh. <clears throat> like the wise guys traveling through the desert? What? <laughs> Your husband's type two? Lauren, hello. Good this to is see so good. You. This gravy from the. Here it comes! Here it comes for those of you who didn't believe. Those of you who didn't believe that Chantel was indeed a gravy eater. Sorry, drinker. Gravy slurper. There it is. Our queen is back in Canada. Do you want to watch it again? This is so good. This gravy from the... This is meat drippings, ma'am. This is this is meat drippings, and you are drinking it. Very good. Our queen is back in Canada. We miss Juliana. I know, Mama Tanae. Me too. I really do. Caitlin, you hate that. I'm sorry. I'll be seeing her soon. But why? That's a really good question. You'd have to ask her. 
I mean, I'll see her again soon, inshallah. Like, well, what's more offensive to you, drinking gravy or microwaving cheese and then eating that? Like, and not microwaving it like the keto hack where it's fully dehydrated and basically turns into like a tortilla. Um, but just like, just melted cheese in a bowl. What's more offensive, drinking gravy or eating Chantel's cheese salad, which is just ranch dressing and shredded, shredded cheese in a bowl? This could be a fun game to play if Chantel ever gets boring. It's like the Gurnal game we were playing the other day. <laughs> What's worse? <laughs> gravy? Gravy. Drinking gravy. Drinking gravy? Gravy for sure. Gravy. Wow, y'all don't like the drinking gravy. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese salad is fucking weird. <laughs> One day. I feel like like I have two two homes, two families. It's weird. <laughs> the clan 18 plus and Lauren B. Hello. Are we getting Sam back? Yeah, we are, Isha. Hi. Chantel's drunk ranch dressing before, hasn't she? Body? <laughs> Energy egg. No, it's not. I feel like that shouldn't even be a question. Up with 10. Hi, Graf and I. It's just frying gravy. Oh, Chris, you would have liked the plane incident. <laughs> Doing a live stream for the eclipse Monday in court. Monday in court. What the eclipse? Really? Mm, no, I'll drive up to the country. Just a, just a healthy portion of coleslaw. It's fine. Everything's fine. No, she drank French. Ah, but yes, yeah, she has. Ah, okay, she's probably drank a, a a range of salad dressings. You got chased by geese. I'm so happy that I was able to remind everyone of the cheese salad. <laughs> I don't have a computer. <laughs> Sam's neck beard. <laughs> You're such a basement dweller, Sam. You're such a basement dweller. Oh, I so look forward to this voice returning. I can't wait to yell at him again. But too late. The only thing I'm missing and there's a stain on my heart is for... <laughs> my pet. I don't feel right. Like, I feel weird. But he has a note. You're also talking about the person who ate a cat treat for $100, but apparently that doesn't make the top five anymore. No, definitely top ten, though. Where do we fall on, um, on... I get is it eating? It's not really eating, but... Where do we fall on taking pizza's, like, medicine off the floor and eating it? I guess eating it. She swallowed it, so it's eating. That's gotta be top ten, right? I have to go home. <laughs> it's probably top ten. <laughs> Top ten terrible things Chantal has eaten. We can make a like a watch mojo list. Hello and welcome to Watch Mojo. I feel like Do you know what a mukbang is? I've like been living that life too long. I missed that. <laughs> oh, oh no! They forgot my Nashville chicken tenders. Internationally acclaimed YouTuber Foodie Beauty. Today we'll be ranking her top 10 worst things she's eaten. Oh, oh, no. I forgot my Nashville chicken tenders. Oh, no. Those mother. I, work. I don't think that's very modest of you, Chantel. Her. <laughs> there are two Nashville chicken tenders <laughs> to go in my pot pie. If you do that, please pull out all the stops from the video production. <laughs> I could do the same thing we did for Amity. I can make a video. Yeah. Great. What a great idea. Oh, I can't stand that. I hate when I get the order. Put that on the good idea board. This is, again, why I need a chalkboard. Hopefully you can vlog a Palestine rally. <laughs> One, ten, oh, yeah, they have them, eh? Thank you for the super chat. Maybe. Yeah. The Nazis. No, I didn't get Chinese. She got Popeye. Well, I had a big lunch, though. <laughs> What did you have for lunch? I have to like one or two. I don't want. <laughs> fucking, I love this. Eating a family sized portion of fucking chicken pot pie. I need to go on a diet. <laughs> Relatable, by the way. Although often that that idea never crosses my mind until afterwards when I feel terrible. And it's not usually pot pie. <laughs> I know. It's not Kuwait that was the problem. I was boring in Kuwait. I agree. I'm not, I wasn't physically well enough because of all the health issues I incurred on myself. I mean, that's not going to change in Canada. Just, like, without you doing anything, so you know. But at least the heat will be a little bit better. Or else I could have done a lot more. I know, Lama Tine, it's really sad. Yep, I know. By the way, the lighting only gets worse from here, so if... If this corner just becomes kind of a fuzzy mess, don't worry about it. 
Susie, I'm still I'm looking for a place now. <laughs> Pitiful. <sighs> Just moving the moves. Decorating my new place. I'm going to Goodwill. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> First thing, I'm just going to order a bed and have like a really nice bed. And just bed rot when I'm at home. Wow, Canada's off to a flying start then. Because her goal at the moment is find own place, find bed, rot. Great. I don't need all kinds of furniture. I just need a bed and a chair for the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not a lie. <laughs> that's not that's a lie. Things. See, you should should never have left Canada, Chantal. Hey, you had nice. all of that stuff back in the luxury villa. <laughs> exactly, Rosemary's. <clears throat> Honestly, Sarah, that's her life. April, thank you so much for the super chat, lovely. I hope you're having a great morning. April says, I'm on day 10 of a 30-day liquid diet Ooh, to prepare for weight loss surgery on April 22nd. Mate, good luck to you. Fingers crossed. I hope everything goes well, and I hope you're feeling okay. I'm having major cravings today, so need encouragement. Do you want... Hold on, I got something for that. Hold on. Chat, can we give some hands up and some love to April in the chat for um for some help with cravings? April, just pay attention to the screen for a minute. How are you gonna forget my Nashville tenders, however? I'm gonna go back there. Hold on, we'll hold on. We'll get we'll get it better. Does this help? There's a bubble headed bleach one comes on at five. She can tell you about the plane crash with the gleam in her eye. It's interesting when people die. They love dirty laundry. <laughs> I hope that helps. Kick them when they're up, kick them when they're down. Hi, MJ. I'm planning on staying in... And good luck, in all seriousness. Good luck. Canada. I hope everything goes well for you. But I'm hurt. Yes, he fits. Happy belated. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, babe. Oh, God. Everything's breaking. She can't. Jehu, good chicken to see you. Yes, yeah, she can. <laughs> the chicky stew. Hey, Meep. I know it's dark, but my lights in here suck. <laughs> Maui. Oh, I'm sorry, Sue, while you're going through a separation. Hang in there. Again, chat, this stream is pretty much all this. Don Henley. I make Singing, stuffing, and... Insufferable. My living off the evening news. Just give me something, something I can use. People love it when you lose. Ah, uh, Zoo, Poopy is not in her chat just yet. Who's? They love dirty laundry. Isn't that so true? I think he's coming in now, or she said hi to him just before. Anyway, her mood changes drastically. <laughs> Howie, Julia, don't make me feel worse. I already feel heartbroken that I have to leave them. <laughs> Somebody. I hope not. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, she just said it? Okay, so he's in there now. Now we see the mood kind of crash. This is so good. I can't stop eating. Well, good thing she's got that therapy appointment to start that gurney. That's going to be fun. Gravy is not soup. That's true, Lilith. I want to get healthier. The gravy ball. Do you know how easy it is to say that while you're eating something delicious? Oh yeah, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> this will satisfy me for life. I'm not gonna eat any more junk. <laughs> Babe. Yeah. How's Julia and Howie? Mm, that's weird to ask in the middle of the chat. <laughs> what? Oh, Cheryl. I got pot pie, fries, gravy, and chicken tenders, but they forgot them. So I'm going back. It's very, like, it's lovely like, outside, the heck, Nikita. Can I your drum? It's kind of twilight moment. It's more complicated for him to come here than me to go there, but... I don't know. And I don't I think Poop... family there. <laughs> I don't think Poopy's going oh. to Canada. Personally. Not a lot. You know what it feels like? That I've moved on from my life here, and now I'm like, it's not the same as before. I don't know, I'm just sad. 
So cheer me up. I'm just joking. <laughs> Hi, Sad. I'm Zach. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Zach, he is bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm eating St. Hubert's teardrop. Close love, rice and gravy, and chicken pot pie. Welcome back. I feel torn between both worlds. I wish I could live in both when I feel like it, you know? See, now she said this last time. Torn between both worlds. I don't think she's gone back. Not unless another Kybella situation happens and she needs to save face. I thought I knew what love was. What did I know? Those days are gone forever. I should just let them go then. Is she singing her feelings again? I think she might be singing her feelings again. I love Don Henley. As you can see. Oh, Polter, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, flush. Hmm? Hi, Fanny. Blair Witch? We can get Blair Witch if you want. I like it. I tried. Okay, well, you have terrible taste, so that's fine. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Would it be more or less egregious if she had, like, one of those swirly straws to drink the gravy? Sorry, I'm like literally picking out. Thanks, your drop. That's one of the best places around. Oh, Gobby? There's St. Hubert's and Autobot got no. Oh, I bumped Gobby. Oh, there's it's fine. One everywhere, but it's like a Canadian chain. Thanks, Bert's and Charts. Babe, do you miss me? Do you ever feel like you need extra reassurance sometimes? Chant out 24 7. <laughs> Hi, Melly. Chicken pot pie. Do you miss me? Babe, 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 do you miss me? Babe. Babe. In my car. This is sad. Would you love me if I were a worm, babe? Did you hear about Miss Hussie? Why am I tonight? No, what happened? Can feel. I'm not going to say Zoe. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'll stink out your car. No, I feel like a pig right now. Not neck deep in ass. DX! <laughs> <laughs> Holy Christian ass? Was that the... That one's not quite locked in in the in the brain frame. Holy Christian ass, was that what it was? Suing for 300k? You really think that... Well... I know there was a 15 minute something. I don't know anymore. And then like an 8 hour something. I really don't know. I have an opinion on that. Look, there is you. <laughs> is it diet gravy, Oceana? That's funny. You're being too indecisive all the time. <laughs> Thank you, Yeti. <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> Julie Peters. Sam has no balls. Oh, sperm everywhere, of course. Oh, I forgot that one. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Make out for 15 minutes, lick ass for 8 hours. Was that the ratio, Shiva? Okay. No. Is that goals? No. <laughs> Being indecisive is not good for you. Oh my God, there's so much good TX. I love those moments where, like, you catch something in the stream and instantly you have, like, a Raven Simonier moment. <laughs> Just, like, <gasps> like trauma. <laughs> That's what that is. Food here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just. Do you think it's Muslim and Sam isn't? <laughs> Can't wait for Sam. No. Honestly, I was like, I needed that break. Like that was a godsend. That uh -huh. was divine intervention. Okay. I don't. I don't think that's what that was. Not I think that was a consequence of your actions. I was getting really involved in the talk. I was getting becoming really toxic, and I was like, you know what? Becoming. <laughs> I can focus on moving. I can focus on anything else. I'm not divorced. I never got divorced. When did I get? She never got married. Get divorced. <laughs> I'm in my car, drinking gravy in the dark. Yeah, that's a different area. So what I do without you, babe? Hi, no name. 
What orangutan? Why did I leave in the middle of Ramadan? Why not? <laughs> like it on Ozempic? Maybe it'll make your diagnosis easier. Thanks, Sophie. I have to talk to a doctor. Thank you. Yeah, corn cheddar. Which again, based on the cons uh, conversation three months ago, is going to be really hard and there's a long wait time and all of that stuff. So, and she doesn't want to wait in line in a clinic. Yeah. I seem happier. I don't see it. Kabira, that's what I think. I think it's been about five days. Jessica. It's so weird. Like, I understand people being happy that I'm here, but, like, it's like people really are happy. Like, they want me to live, like, I don't know. I think Kuwait was boring as hell and I needed something to happen. I'm glad it's Canada. Canada historically has been far more interesting. I just feel sad all of a sudden. I feel homesick for Kuwait. Lottie says, my personal theory is she went, uh, she was on a plane the same day she changed the channel name back. Ah, that would make sense timeline-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I miss sleeping with someone. <laughs> Hi, Don't Nadia. worry, give it give it a couple of weeks. She'll, she'll be back on the prowl. Yeah. Maybe she'll re reach out to Big Turk and we'll have a return of the condom trophies. Yay! I'm so I'm the worst person. Drinking gravy is healthy, no. Yo, I watched a really nasty movie. It was called Gravy Drinker 2000. The Green Inferno. <laughs> Green. Yeah. Well, I never did anything in Kuwait. That's why it was boring. I'm sure, I could have made it interesting. You could have, but you didn't. And even with your loophole husband, you didn't create interesting content. So, yeah, Kuwait was pretty boring. Yeah, I have no lights in here. I mean, there was some interesting stuff, but it wasn't, like, it wasn't a daily watchable thing. Hi, Nadia. They want you to bash. Now, every day, we're going to get live streams with Chantel eating from her car. That's watchable. Sad, but watchable. Wow, that's what they want. No, it's not going to happen. I love him. He's my husband. Lottie, do you think she was paying for it for the last 18 months? He's an amazing man. He's not perfect. Don't talk about him. He's in the chat. <laughs> Girl. But amazing nonetheless. What are you doing? Like, you know. My, my husband, who I love dearly and who I've just moved away from to look after my health, who I love dearly, isn't perfect. <laughs> but also, if he, like, cheats on me, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Shut up. Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm so mad about my tenders. Babe. Jack, I have no idea. We'll get the tenders? <laughs> We're getting into oh, scary potato scary territory. Like, you guys can't see me. This is BS. I should just come back when the setup's better. This this is what we're dealing with. Oh, Mish, good to see it. She was on a ban. Hi, Meg. Stay in Canada. Dear Dolly, that's right. Those are Chantel's words. Yeah, it's okay to cheat if they're in different countries. But only... She's confusing as to why she got so upset the first time. <gasps> is my battery dead now? I'm stranded here. <laughs> Match. Where did the mod change the settings? <laughs> this is what we're watching. This. Sorry, let me. This is a <laughs> horror movie. Mm. Desert Rose. Have... Baby. Turn my car on. What? Hold on. What? Mm. What was that? Desert Rose. Have... Sorry, let me. <laughs> mm. Desert Rose. Have... Baby. Turn my car on. That I know that was a glitch, but with all the like hot, heavy mouth sounds. And the fact that we can't see anything. This is turning into a horror movie. There we go. Why is my light? This light is burnt out. Still terrifying. Hi, Lola. With these eight pixels. It's the only light that works in here. <laughs> this is Chantel's face right now. It's the only light that works in here. Potato. <laughs> Potato. 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 Potato.
database. <laughs> it is Minecraft. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Harley, thank you so much for gifting five channel memberships, mate. I appreciate it. Welcome or welcome back to Bryn, Jen, Lilis, Desert Dweller, and Ari. Hello, everybody. Please make sure you make the lovely Harley. This should have been the thumbnail. <laughs> With Nally closed? Not really. <laughs> this sucks. Do you think she's got? Do you think she's got a Canadian SIM card, or is she back on roaming or something? <laughs> I'm simply ravishing. I'm like right. Mm. Yeah, Lottie, the anti-aliasing on this is just peak. <laughs> Pixelated bees. Where's the? No. <laughs> okay. You see a nose? Where in this mess do you see a nose? Point. <laughs> Point to the screen and tell me where. Where, where is the nose? <laughs> this is what this is what I meant about halfway through it just gets terrible. Excellent party. Oh my god, AC hi, good to see you. You're right, it is probably just a really bad connection. But this is funny. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> no name, you gifted ten members. Oh my god, thank you. Mel, thank you very much for being here for 37 months. I appreciate it. Mel says it's like one of those magic pictures from the 90s. Yeah, you just have to kind of like cross your eyes. <laughs> and then you find the nurse. I appreciate that so much. Welcome to all the new members. Ready, set, niche. <laughs> Thank you, no name. <laughs> I can't play my fork. Oh, DX, she said the thing. <sighs> Why are you guys watching me? I'm such a mess. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, no name. Desert Rose, I saw your super chat, right? Yeah. Hey, Angela. Happy late birthday. Thank you, guys. SCP. All right, like I said, chat, I was only going to get halfway through this one. The back end of it is legitimately nothing. I'm sure someone else will cover it or talk about it, but it is insufferable. So I'm going to call it a day. Harley Gal gifting. Oh, did I catch Harley Gal gifting memberships? I'm... I think I did. Yes, no, I did. Yeah, no, all good. Thank you again. Um, I'm sorry, I got confused. <laughs> Me, my state of being. I'm going to go. Chat, th <laughs> thank you very much for hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you for dealing with round two of the bug. That definitely wasn't the same bug. That bug was out for vengeance. Anyway, Chantal's back in Canada. Yay! That means hopefully we get some interesting content coming up. Who knows? So I might be back soon. Probably, if not tomorrow, it's definitely going to be Friday. In which case, I feel like I'm going to have a lot to catch up on. But that's okay. I'll do what I can. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. For those of you on the rewatch, I appreciate your comments, opinions, and eyeballs. Chat, if you would like to hit the like button on the way out, I'd very much appreciate that as well. Hope you all have a fabulous day. Please make sure you wear your sunscreen, drink your water, get your steps in, have a laugh, cook something new, have a nap, I don't know, play a video game, whatever. Just have a good time. Thank you for being here, and I will see you all in the next video and or live stream.